And good afternoon to you. Welcome to high school basketball action on Central Illinois Sports, live from the home of the Suns in Augusta, Southeastern, playing host to the Griggsville Perry Tornadoes. Good afternoon to you. I'm Charlie Hull. Jack and John are alongside. It's the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. As always, we thank you for joining us for high school basketball action. The Tornadoes, a quick turnaround here. After a win against North Green last night, they're right back at it on the road. They hopped on the big yellow bus that was good and warm as they headed north here to Augusta. And they'll take on a talented Southeastern team in both the JV and varsity action here this afternoon. We'll pause for a timeout on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. We'll talk more about the JV matchup after this. Wish you had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house. Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Fresh Years on You would like to thank everyone in our community for your support in the past 15 years. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space with spirit wear for Unity Mustangs, Liberty Eagles, Brown County Hornets, and our hometown, Central Panthers. Businesses, let us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We are excited to now offer lasered hat patches. With limitations on attendance to local sporting events, we are excited to help bring you this game. Fresh Years on You, five. 6 Westwood, Camp Point, Illinois. PCRE Real Estate and Auction is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois. With two office locations, one in Pike County and the other in Calhoun County, PCRE Real Estate and Auction is the place to go when you're looking to buy or sell farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property. See our current listings at PCRERealEstate.com or call us at 217-285-5800 for PCRE Real Estate and Auction. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies focus on your income. At Northwestern Mutual, we focus on your outcome. That's why we know what it takes to succeed both on your balance sheet and in your life. It takes the right financial partner who looks at where you are now and where you want to go and design a financial plan to take you there so you can achieve the life you're after today and every day after. Focus on your financial outcome with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Don Kirk or Sheila Davidsmeyer today at 217-285-4014. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. The Tornadoes and the Suns are warming up in preparation for this contest. We saw the JV squad for Griggsville Perry jump out to a big lead over North Green last night and really never looked back. Michael Myers continued his great start to the season, really shooting it well. Finished the night, I believe, with 17 points in the victory for the Tornadoes team. And something I've been impressed with at both the JV and varsity level, but especially this junior varsity level, Jack, is how hard these young people are playing. And guys who have really already early in the season gotten into their roles and everybody playing within their role makes you a pretty tough team to beat. It's a pretty interesting level because we see uh, Logan Evans really picking it up, being that point guard and that settler. He's not looking to shoot the three as much. But Myers and, uh, along with Miller, are not afraid to put it up anywhere. White down low playing some really good ball for him. We see that uh, Wyatt Lipkeman in the lineup for the second day in a row. Glad to see one of the twins back. And then Waters comes in and really gives them good minutes. But what I like more than anything, Charlie, on the varsity and the JV both, we're seeing people who are role players who are picking their game up. A guy like Lothridge who's been in double figures for a couple games in a row. And so I expect White, Waters, and others to keep developing like that also. Yeah, things went really well for Griggsville Perry. We'll talk more in the varsity contest, though. But they'll be taking on one of the tougher players in the area, and Danny Stevens, who, uh, you know, I was talking, and I won't say who, but talking to an area coach earlier, and uh, he said, I think that kid could go compete in a D2 level right now. I mean, he's that level of talent. And uh, don't be too surprised if he's able to keep growing that he won't see some pretty good size offers as his high school career continues to evolve. It's, it's so interesting with a kid like Danny Stevens because I saw Andy Kaufman in these early years. 
He's not quite as big and physical, but he jumps a lot better. And they didn't have the three-point shot until Andy was a senior. Danny can go inside, outside. And we saw him against Pittsfield take two steps down the lane and stuff it with no problem. We'll take a look at the starting lineups for this Junior Varsity Contest with the Tornadoes and the Suns next on Central Illinois Sports. Call Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full-service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at GoBestSystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. With all the financial headlines, are you wondering if your retirement savings will last? The market's ups and downs can keep you guessing, especially if you're approaching retirement or considering it. Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help. If you have more questions than answers about what's next, you can work together to help ensure you're prepared for your journey. After all, retirement isn't the end of the trek, it's the new beginning. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investments, member SIPC. Western Illinois Fellowship of Christian Athletes offers support to our coaches, teachers, and athletes. Our mission is to help each grow in a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Western Illinois FCA invites you to go to westernilfca.org to find out more or to join us as a financial partner. Look for some great events coming up in May, banquets in Jacksonville and Quincy, and the Million Dollar Golf Shot too. Western Illinois FCA, working for you. It's time for you to find out the difference that thousands have found with Westtown Ford in Jacksonville. If you're looking for a new Ford, Lincoln, or maybe a used car truck or SUV, why don't you take the short drive to Jacksonville, Illinois, to Westtown Ford. They have the best sales and service in the area, and what a selection, thousands to choose from. It's Westtown Ford in Jacksonville, 30 minutes from high prices. Phone 217-245-7101 or go to westtownford.com. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show with locations in Pittsfield, Liberty, and Barrie. Great Rivers Bank is here to serve the region with high-quality banking services and personalized care for you. Charlie. Find out about their services at greatriversbank.bank. Jack? I thought you were done. You paused for a second. My, my apologies. Let's look at the starting lines for the JB game brought to you by Trash Queen serving Pike, Adams, Scott, and Morgan County with residential and commercial services with roll-off service also. 10, 15, and 20-yard containers. Call 217-320-4320. And Illini Express here to serve you with walk-in medical care when you need it. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Holidays till 11 also. Illini Express sees patients 18 months and older. No appointment necessary. Learn more about their services offered at Illini Express by visiting IlliniHospital.org. Time for the starting lineups of the JV contest. Here's Charlotte. For the Tornadoes and Junior Varsity coach Keenan Elliott, they'll start at a guard. He's a six-foot freshman, Michael Myers. At a second guard, the 5'7 sophomore, Logan Evans. And at the third guard spot is the freshman, Wyatt Lipkeman. He's 5'5 and a freshman. At a four, the 6'1 freshman, Eli White. And at the other forward spot, and he can shoot it a little bit as well, the 5'8 junior Aaron Miller. Miller, White, Lipkeman, Myers, and Evans for the Tornadoes. For the Suns and the junior varsity side, they'll start at a guard, a 5'9 freshman Jesse Johnson, a 6'0 freshman Jarrett Van Beck, also Mason Fry, he's a 5'8 freshman. Owen Rigg, a 6'0 freshman, and Josh Kaltenbach, he's a six-foot sophomore. So Kaltenbach, Rig, Fry, Van Beck, and Johnson for the Southeastern Junior Varsity squad. What we used to refer to as the jump ball, we'll call it the handoff now. Geared Up Custom Apparel and Awards will bring you that one. Does your business organization need custom apparel? From t-shirts, sweatshirts, polos, and jackets, Geared Up has the gear you need. Visit WeGearYouUp.com or call 217-473-6290. Open Thursday and Friday from 10 to 6, Saturday 9 to 2. That's Geared Up on the west side of the square. And Bowlers Universe, open Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Today, 4 p.m. to midnight, go out and have a great pizza, burger, fries, onion rings, and more. Try one of their many craft beers. Open bowling uh, is available today and the 20th. Come on out and enjoy the fun at Bowler's Universe. Well, the visiting team gets the ball. That's one of the rules. 
We don't want you to forget about those mass timeouts we'll take under the five-minute mark in each quarter. And also, if we get to overtime, we'll have that exciting coin flip like we have had in the last couple of our broadcasts. GP will have the basketball first. Lipkeman will inbound it to Myers, and they'll look to bring it up against this Suns Junior Varsity Squad. Glad you're with us this afternoon on Central Illinois Sports. Lipkeman with the ball, top of the key, finds Miller, swings it left side over to Myers. Myers on the dribble, now to Lipkeman out top against the zone defense. And now we're in a man. Down low with it is Myers. Back out to Lipkeman. He had a lot of success penetrating last night from the top of the key. Tell me about that basketball. Well, it's got a little uh, brighter color on it, doesn't it? Here's yes, Miller for three. Does. No good. Rebound, though, run down by the hustling Eli White. He'll fake. Now take the ball to the rim. White over the front of the rim. No good. Own rebound. Put back is good. And Eli White. Puts GP on the board, 2-0 on the Trash Queen scoreboard on their first possession Nice of the job afternoon. rebounding on the offensive side by White. Into the front court with it comes Kaltenbach. Out between the circles to Fry. Fry will work against the zone of Griggsville Perry. In the middle it goes to Johnson, right side Rig. Check that that was Van Beck, excuse me. Van Beck gets a touch. Out top to Johnson. Now they'll find Kaltenbach left wing. Down low to Fry. Turnaround shot, no good. And Lipkeman's got his first board for the Tornadoes. They're wearing the maroon and white here this afternoon. Is GP. Here's Evans in the corner for a tray. Good. That tickled the nylon that time. And it's a 5-0 lead for GP and a timeout for Southeastern. 6.42 to play in the opening quarter. 5-0 Tornadoes on top. We're back after this. Sharing a big family moment. Working hard from home. Relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age where reliable internet has never been more important. Cascop keeps your family connected. With consistent speeds up to one gig and Plume whole home adaptive Wi-Fi, make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit us online at cascom.com. Suns basketball, Griggsville Perry with a 5-0 lead at the 642 mark of the first quarter on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Little 1-2-2 two, two pressure now for the Tornadoes. Into the front court with it will come Kaltenbach. Over on the pass to Owen Rigg. Rigg on the dribble drive baseline, gets to the rim, shot too hard. Rebound down low to Kaltenbach. He'll put it back up off the iron, no good. Gets his own board again, fouled, and he'll shoot two shots. Kaltenbach is going to get an offensive board. And, a couple uh, of them even. He'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, give him a couple on that. And the foul goes the other way on Griggsville Perry. That will go against White, his first, team first. Free throws to be shot by Kaltenbach. First and a little flat, and it would not fall through. Tim Waters and Waters Concrete, they offer quality concrete for your new build, driveways, sidewalks, decorative patios, and anything with concrete. It's Waters Concrete, ready to serve you. 309-252-1052 for Waters Concrete. Made the adjustment, couldn't get it to fall. Offensive rebound again down on the floor, and the ball's tied up. Should be Southeastern basketball, as fighting for that one was Van Beck, and he had Myers with him. It'll be the Suns' ball. Taking it out underneath is Owen Rigg. Looks for a little motion. The man's wide open, Kaltenbach. Over the front of the rim, missed it, and the rebound is out of bounds. Last touched by White for GP, so it stays with the Suns. Kaltenbach was wide open, just needed to go up against the backboard that time, and he would have gotten it to fall. And White almost picked up his second foul. Inbounds pass, comes out top of the key to Fry, holds it high above his head there. Now near the sideline, Kaltenbach. He'll look to put it on the deck one time. Between the circles to Johnson, swings it quickly to Van Beck. Back to Johnson, off the screen from Rigg. Little rise and shoot from the free throw line, off the mark. And the rebound down to Miller for the Tornadoes. He wants to push into the front court. Spins away from the defender to Evans. Evans on the wing, now Miller looks to attack. On the right side to Lipkeman. He'll pull it out and set up the offensive attack for GP. Up 5-0 and with the possession here. Miller with it on the wing. Top of the key, Evans over on the left side. Lipkeman for the tray. Good. Tornadoes can put the points in in a hurry. And they're up 8-0 here in the early going. 5 or 3 to play in the first. Wyatt looks healed, does he not? Here's a pass that has sailed too high and out of bounds. Nearly caught the scorekeeper. And Joe Koonsman was able to get out of the way just in the nick of time. Bleachers are pushed back behind the home uh, benches here, and it looks a little different on the sideline, a little depth perception difference. GP and 8 0 lead, 525 to play in the quarter. Lipkeman with it on the bounce right side. Even with that brace on, here's Myers for a three. He says, Let's get in the fun. He hits the three, and the Tornadoes can flat out shoot the rock. Three guys have made threes already in the ballgame. 11 0. 
Christ Queen scoreboard, 5.07 left in the first quarter. We kind of thought Lipkman would have a little more trouble handling the ball with that uh, brace on the left arm and the thumb kind of immobilized, but man, he took pretty good care of it last night. <laughs> Out top with it is Fry. They're not big as the Scrigsville Perry squad, but pesky on the defensive side. They really fly around defensively. And even though they didn't look big on the JV squad with Lipkman out there, the rest of them look like giants, don't they? Yeah, he's not very big as <laughs> Wyatt, but you won't find a kid that plays harder than oh, that young man. Oh, no. Not in at anything. All. No, he and his brother have competed against each other, I think, in their whole lives. It's a mass timeout, 439 left first quarter, 11-0 GP. We're back with more on Central Illinois Sports. In the charming town of Pittsfield, Illinois, awaits a dining experience sure to impress. Nucci's Restaurant, specializing in Italian cuisine, succulent steaks, seafood, pasta, burgers, sandwiches, and scrumptious desserts all made to order. Mouthwatering and high-quality dishes at affordable prices. Nucci's is the perfect setting for a dinner date or a family meal. It's more than dining, it's an experience. Check out Facebook for live entertainment. Once you experience Nucci's, it will become a favorite destination. Since 1962, but, Logan Ag has provided customers but, with quality but, products, competitive but, prices, and... But what about the new locations, Grampy? What new locations? Well, boys, Logan Ag now has locations in Winchester, Illinois, and in LaBelle, Missouri. So now there are four? I'll be four this year. Logan Ag, serving customers in Griggsville and Winchester, Illinois, Paris, and LaBelle, Missouri. Our vision for agriculture is 2020. 439 left first quarter of play, 11-0 GP with the lead. Lipcomb and Seed Sales is your pioneer dealer. They also have precision farming and crop insurance. Call Aaron today at 217-430-4516 or Brett at 217-242-2703. And by the way, Aaron, call and get your wife a nice supper tonight while she's watching the basketball games. You get it from Nucci's. Yeah. New cheese and company. Yeah, we went there last night. It was delicious. Proud sponsor here on Central Illinois Sports. Pass comes into the corner. Here's a three ball on the way by Mason Fry, and he puts the Suns on the board for the first time with 434 to play in the first. Both of the Fry boys can shoot the rock. Yeah, I thought Mason Fry looks like a pretty good athlete. They list him at 5'8", and does he not look a little taller than well, that? Well, I don't know that I got sizes, so that might have been one of those jack holes. Oh, guys. is that why the Wilson kid who's 6'4", from North Green, is listed as 5'10"? Here's a drive-in by Myers. His shot no good. That's because he was bumped and fouled, and he'll shoot two free throws. They called that on Mason Fry. His first, team first, free throws for Myers. First one is up and no good. The Pike County Express is your local family-owned newspaper. They've been serving Pike County since 1991. Check them out each Wednesday on a newsstand near you. I mean, this is a big year for the Pike County Express. By the way, Coaches, send us those heights, and then we'll have them. Quit being Reno Tankston. Second one up and good by Myers. He's got four. 30 years for the Pike County Express this year. Pretty cool. And still going very, very strong. You can read about this contest in next Wednesday's Pike County Express. Here's the ball stolen away. Michael Myers with the steal. Second turnover by the Suns. Lip coming into the front court to Myers, right into your living room on this shot. Up no good. Rebound is ripped down by Mason Fry. His first of the afternoon. He'll turn and take it into the front court. Over the top to Walker and too high. And a turnover on the Suns is their third. Colton Buck with a couple offensive rebounds, but those three turnovers have been crucial. They hit a three. Looked like they had some things going, but here comes GP again, and they don't want to leave them open on the perimeter because they'll make it 15-3 in a second. Here's Lipkeman with the ball on the wing to Evans. Evanson really penetrate well with the ball in his hands. He and Miller both are cat quick. Evans. In the corner, Myers. Actually, everybody right now on the floor has pretty good speed. I wouldn't want to try to race them in a 4x4. Four four. Here's Miller for a 3. No good. Went halfway down, came back out. Ball loose underneath. Kaltenbach and Lipkeman fighting for it. And Kaltenbach wins that battle. His to third, Fry. Third board. Fry will take it on the bounce into the front court. Right side over to Rigg. Rigg dribble drive. Kicks to the wing. Johnson had trouble with the catch. Out to Kaltenbach. Now to Rigg left wing. 3-10 to play in the first quarter. Here's a three now by Fry, rattles in and out, no good. And Myers has the rebound, his second to Lipkeman. Ooh, behind the back with it. On the wing to Evans for the step back two, no good. And the board pulled down by Rick. He'll push into the front court for the Suns. A little one on two, a little up and under move, no good. Myers has another board. Ahead to Lipkeman, all by his lonesome into the front court with the right hand, won't fall. Rebound down to Evans, he'll kick it off to Miller. Out top now Myers as they reset. 
Myers, free throw line, jump shot, silky smooth as that one drops on another timeout for the Suns. 2.38 to play in the quarter, 14-3 is the advantage for Grigsville Perry as you watch high school basketball action on Central Illinois Sports. You can plan for most things in your life, but being sick isn't one of them. That's why Illini Express has expanded hours so your family can get the care you require. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Illini Express can see patients 18 months and older, no appointment necessary. When you can't wait to feel better, Illini Express is here for you. Located on the square in Pittsfield. Learn more at IlliniHospital.org. 2.38 left first quarter. Sutton's called their second timeout, trying to clean things up a little bit. Three turnovers. They have three points, 14 for GP. And full court pressure by the Tornadoes, and it works. Evans gets it, steals the ball in the fourth turnover. Then he puts it up, and he's going to be fouled on the play. And I think that was Walker, was it not? Well, I believe that was uh, Walker. Yes, sir. Yeah, Walker's going to pick up the on. foul. His first, team second. Evans up for the free throw. It's no good. Damon Emmerich at Great Rivers Bank is here to help you with your next auto, residential, or commercial loan. Call Damon Emmerich at Great Rivers Bank. 217-285-4404. Adjustment made on the second one, and Evans has another. He's got four. Both teams shot a three in the last couple of trips. It went about three-fourths of the way down and then gobbled back out. Somehow. Yeah, not friendly rims here. Into the front court, a new man into the game. That's Riley Weinberg. He throws a pass that Miller takes away, and then after Miller got the steal, he's going to be fouled by Rigg. And when Rigg fouls you, you're going to know it. He's a solid young man. I tell you what, I've got shoulder pads written all over. Good little baseball player, too. His dad's the AD and the baseball coach, and those rake boys are very aggressive. 2.20 to play in the first quarter. 15-3, the lead for the Tornadoes in this junior varsity game. Uh-oh, Myers, wide open, three, good. Can't leave him open like that. He's feeling it, he's got nine already. 18-3. to three. Tornadoes on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Into the front court, trying to split the double team. Walker gets all the way to the rim and gets it a go. Good strong take by Walker, has his first two. That just kept on rolling. I didn't think it had a chance. 18-5, stops the bleeding momentarily. Here's Lipkman with it. Off to Miller, top of the key, Myers. Man goes flying by him. He'll attack with the dribble, and it's stolen away now by Walker. Walker, the larceny, lay up at the other end. Not going to happen because it's nearly stolen away. Ball comes free, shot put up no good by Weinberg. And Miller's got the board. Then his pass tips stolen away. Weinberg on the drive, won't fall. Miller's got another board, and he says, I'll just dribble it up this time. Has a three on two. Down to Lipkman, up, under, and in for two. Good job protecting the ball with his body that time. He's got five, and it's 20 to five tornadoes. 1.15 to play in the first quarter. Tying their largest lead of the afternoon. Here's Caleb Weiss on the dribble into the front court. Out of a double team, here's Evans with the steal. He'll go up for the lap. It's blocked by Rigg. Good hustle. Lipkeman gets the rebound. The Myers at the free throw line. Kind of looks around. Pops the shot. No good. Rebound into Rigg. Good hustle back by him, but get the shot block on that initial shot. Now he'll fire a three in transition, and he's feeling it. The freshman Rigg gets a bucket. He's got three on the day already. Makes it 20 to eight. Under 40 seconds to play. In the first. Don't see a lot of JV action that shoots this many threes, but when GP's doing it, they'll be contagious. Both teams will try it after a while. They'll stack it up, look to take some time off the clock, up by 12 with under 30 seconds now to play in the quarter. Lipkeman gets it to Evans. Evans toward the wing on the right side. Between the circles it goes to Miller. Miller will dribble toward the wing. Now a double team comes his way out top. Evans, 14 ticks to play in the quarter. GP will also get the basketball, barring a tie-up in the next 10 seconds to start the second quarter. Miller with six. In the corner, Myers. Ooh, he was open. Does not shoot it. Three, two to White. Top of the key, Lipkman. He'll fire away. It's too late. It would not fall anyway, and that's the way the first quarter comes to a close. It's 20-8. to eight. Grigsville Perry with the advantage on top of Southeastern in junior varsity action on Central Illinois Sports. 
Damon Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon guys to get it right the first time. No job too big. Have you seen Brayden and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, we couldn't resist. Call Brayden today at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon and plumbing recommended by our family for your family. When you hear Pike County Glass, what do you think of? Is it storm window and screen repair? Commercial doors, windows and storefronts? Maybe it's auto glass repair, including windshields, rock chip repair, side glass and back glass. Or it could be screen and porches, glass showers and doors, and, well, you get the point. Glass is in their name, and glass is what they do. Pike County Glass, serving the entire area with high-quality craftsmanship, products, and customer service that's second to none. You'll find Pike County Glass at 1071 West Washington Street in Pittsfield, or call them at 217 285 42 Seven five. Twenty to eight after one quarter. Grigsville Perry had the ball. The Suns are three of 12, 25 percent, two of three from the arc, of two from the free throw line. The uh, Grigsville Perry Tornadoes nine of 14, 64 percent, four of six from the arc, two of four from the free throw line. GP basketball. Here's Miller on a floater, and it's good. And he gets the Tornadoes started right where they left up, and the ball in the basket. His first two. Twenty two eight GP. Just underway in the second quarter. Rigg with it on the dribble into the front court. Gets by his man. Kicks to the wing to Cade Rigg. He'll shoot a three no good. And the rebound loose underneath. And tied up. It'll be Suns basketball. Good hustle by the young man. Getting on the floor that time after the board. That's Cole Glick, I believe. It's, nope, nope. No, no, Van Beck. That. Jared Van Beck. Yeah, Van Beck me. and Myers went to the floor. And you love to see that if you're a coach. Both kids going down doing all they can do. Out of bounds underneath for the Suns. Ball comes into Rigg. Left side. That's... Cade Rigg over across a high pass to Fry. Fry will throw the high one to Rigg <laughs> on the left side. He says, how about this one? What do you think about that one? Now he's picked up the dribble. Needs some help. The Kaltenbach. 7-11 to play in the first half. 22-8 advantage for the Tornadoes in the Junior Varsity Contest. Here's Owen Rigg. Has picked up the dribble to Cade Rigg. Over on the left wing near the sideline, Kaltenbach. The flow's a little tough, but GP zone's making that happen. They got guards coming out and facing you. Yeah, they're real aggressive on the uh, closeout of the three-point arc. And here's the man going to the uh, basketball with strips stolen away. Seven. And then, and then stolen right back by Mason Fry. And so it will be Suns basketball and the foul against Michael Myers. Myers will pick up the foul. That'll be his first. Just the team's second is what I have. Three on the Suns. 6.47 left in the first, first half. 22 to 8 GP here on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Inbounds pass comes in the corner to Rigg. Caught down low against Myers. Needs some help. Throws a pass out top. Cade Rigg. Quick one over to Coltenbach. Down low. Good find inside to Fry, but he's bumped and fouled. White and him are tangled up. White will be the guilty party. He'll pick up his second. Team third of the day. And we'll see Waters come into the game for the first time, and that will be Kyle Waters. He'll sit white down, 6.39 to play in the half. Ball out of bounds to the sun. It's underneath their own hoop. Owen Rigg, lob pass out to Cade Rigg. Now to Garrett on the left wing. Or Fry, excuse me. Now they get it to Coltenbach and a timeout by the Suns. They're third of the first half, 6.32 to play in the half. And it's Griggsville Perry leading Southeastern, 22-8. Situation is changing because of layoffs or restructuring, you may have to make several decisions. One important decision may be what to do with your retirement plan. Make sure your retirement stays on track. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, can help. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Call Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full-service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at GoBestSystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. Suns with their third time out. They're back on the offensive side. They're down 22 to 8 here in the second quarter. And this Grigsville Perry squad will frustrate you with the way they play on the defensive end. And then when they drop in a couple threes, man, it makes it even worse. Here's Colton Bach over on the right side to Van Beck. 
Gives it out top, Cade Rigg. Back to Van Beck. Thought about the three ball tipped and run down by Rigg near the half court line. To Van Beck out front, free throw line now finds Owen Rigg. Turnaround shot there won't fall. And Lipkeman's got the board for GP. Two Myers, kicks to the wing, Evans. Off to Lipkeman, he'll fake the train, I'll put it on the deck. To Miller. He turns down shot there and you don't see that very often. He's open from the time he wakes up in the morning is Miller. 5.50 to play in the half. Lipkeman to Miller on the wing. Fakes the dribble drive, now to Myers off the little curl. He'll kick it off, left wing to Lipkeman, between the legs with it. Evans, quick pass to Myers, tries the dribble drive, bump there and shut off on the defensive side. Evans, Lipkeman, around the horn it goes. Miller, three ball on the way, too long. Rebound run down by Kaltenbach. He'll give it to Rigg into the front court. Doesn't have numbers, so he pulls it out front. 5.24 to play in the half. Here's the ball poked away for a second, run down though by Van Beck with Evans really pressuring him. Myers really got long arms down there on defense, even though he's kind of a guard on offense. He's liable to grow a little bit, though, yep. wouldn't you say? He's going to get three inches taller than Clayton. Write it down. Here's a drive by Rigg. Good job. Gets to the rim and scores. Who's that? Owen Rigg. Owen. Makes it 22-10 yep. as the Suns trying to get back within shouting distance here. 4.50 to play in the half. Miller with it on the wing. Down to Myers. Has used the dribble, back to Miller. Out front it goes to Evans. I swing it around Lipkeman. He'll try the drive. Now to Miller, dribble drive in, gets to the rim and uh, gets it to go. Miller, I don't think was expecting to be that open. He's got four and makes it 24-10. They've led by as much as 15 two times in the ball game. About halfway through the second quarter here and they lead 24-10 right now. With the ball is Fry over the top of the defender, Cade Rigg. He'll throw the long skip pass to Coltenbach. Down low was looking for Rigg and they weren't on the same page that time. That ball goes sailing out of bounds. And a little Larry Bird pass that time. A little no look and I think we've got the media timeout. 24-10 GP leads in the Tri-Squeen scoreboard. 4-14 left and a half. We'll take the break. Gary Mendenhall is ready to serve you as the next mayor of Pittsfield. I'm Gary Mendenhall. I am confident that our beautiful city has our best days ahead of us. I am determined to make this community safe and prosperous with potential for future growth. I intend to address the issues that we are currently facing as well as develop a promising vision for our future. On April 6th, vote Gary Mendenhall for Mayor of Pittsfield. Are you searching for some meaning in life? Are you searching for a loving place to be accepted? If so, we would love for you to join us to take the next step in your life's journey together with us at Pittsfield Church of the Nazarene. Here at PCN, we're a group of real people looking to build real relationships as we journey together to experience real encounters with God. Join us online or in person at 227 West Washington in Pittsfield, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., online on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. Back to live action here in just a moment after the media timeout. 414 left and a half. Trice Queen, you know they offer residential and commercial uh, Trice pickup in Adams, Pike, Scott, and Morgan County. Maybe I'll leave them a hot chocolate as cold as it is. This has got to be a tough time of the year. Give them a call to 217-320-4320. Just thank your Trice man. We appreciate him at Trice Queen, our scoreboard sponsor. Back to live action. GP with the basketball and Charlie to tell you about. Wyatt Lipkeman brings the ball across the SHS here at Southeastern High School in the middle of the gym. You know, back in 2020, they used to tip off games right in that spot. <laughs> back in the old days. Back in the day. Here's Evans gets to the rim. He'll put it up and good, man. He's strong down low. He has really developed his game a lot and has six points. Makes it 26-10. Largest lead of the contest right now for the Tornadoes. Owen Rigg with it on the wing. He'll throw it out front to Fry. High above his head there. He looks like another young man that has a little growing He kind of looks like the small version of Stevens, actually, from the back. Now out front, Jesse Johnson, the 5'9 freshman, gets a touch. Left side to Walker. Looks for a pass to away by Myers. Nine. Myers on the run into the front court. He and Jesse Johnson collide, and he'll be called for the foul. Jesse Johnson picks up the foul. His first team fourth. 322 left and a half. 26 to 10. Somebody told me the Stevens boy has a younger brother that's going to be a dandy. I don't know. I'll have to ask his grandma when I see her. Caleb Weiss comes into the game along with Wyatt Bartimus. 
Okay, on the other side, we see White return, and Waters takes a chair. Pass comes to Lipkeman out near the half-court line for the Tornadoes, a 16-point lead and the basketball. They'll throw a pass that's kicked. It'll stay with the Tornadoes on the sideline right in front of the Suns' chairs. Used to be a bench, now it's chairs. Chairs everywhere. We'll have a table and chairs match afterwards, I think. Like a new church started up. They're using chairs instead of pews. Off the top bleacher. Here's Myers from 15. No good this time. Rebound Lipkeman kept it alive, but it comes into the hands of Johnson for the Suns. Johnson on the dribble. Three minutes to play in the half. 26-10, the Suns trail. In the corner, it goes to Weiss. Out top now, Bartimus with his first touch of the day to Johnson. Holds the ball there with both hands. He said, I've got Evans on me. He's a little bit of a thief. He's been taking the ball away from guys all afternoon. Here's a turnaround shot from the free throw line. No good by Fry. Rebound down to Wyatt Lipkeman, his fourth, and he's the smallest guy on the court. Evans with it on the wing left side to Myers. Lipkeman down low. There's Eli White wide open underneath. He'll put it up and is fouled. Heck by Weiss on the play. It'll be the and one. Weiss picks up his first tip. Fifth team foul, slow down, Jack. White has four on the day, and he'll get the and one. GP is two for four from the free throw line, and White shoots his first charity stripe shots of the day. 28 to 10 is the biggest lead right now, and he can build on that, and he does. I like Eli White. He's a kid that's worked really hard to improve his game, and especially from the free throw line. I don't think he missed one yesterday at all. Here's Bartimus, throws a pass down low, stolen away by Miller. Pushes it ahead to Lipkeman. 2-10 to play in the half. 29-10, Tornadoes on top. It's about the shots, but you know it's more about the defense. They've turned it over 10 times as Southeastern because of the defense of GP. Yeah, 10 extra opportunities, you're liable to have a lead. Here's White. There's a pass that was tipped, but run down by Lipkeman to the free throw line. Jump shot there. Counted, and he's fouled. Lipkeman will get the and one. Showed the strength there. He's got... Seven on the day makes it a 31 to 10 lead with 153 left and a half on a trash queen scoreboard. And the little freshman, Wyatt Lipkeman, says, Brother Lane, get healed up here and get out here on the court with me. It's up. Guess what? Lipkeman makes that too, and he's got eight. 32 to 10. 150 to play in the first half. 22 point lead, biggest of the ball game. Bartimus with the ball left side. Now they pull it around to Fry. He's picked it up. There's a pass out of bounds. Another turnover by the Suns. They're 11th. 140 left in the half now. I'll tell you what, shout out to the officials too. A lot of them having to work two games in a day. And they used, or to, more. Do used to do that back in the day. But, you know, that's back when we used to have jump balls. They don't have to throw the ball up, so they don't have quite as hard to work, you know. It's always tough. Some people were really bad at that. Oh, my, lots of them. Lip coming with it out top. Kicks to the wing. Miller, good look. Three ball on the way. Too hard. The three ball has not been a friend of the Tornadoes here in the second quarter. But they have extended the lead, and that's why right there, another Suns turnover. They're 12. 12 turnovers. Back into the ball game comes Van Beck. And he will set down Fry. It'll be Myers with the ball opposite the scorer's table. There are some fans in the stand here. Looks like a couple of parents. Yeah, we've got parents and, and the husband and wife having to sit together. Down low, Evans gets free. Count the basket, and he's fouled by Van Beck. Third time we'll have an and one in that many trips. Evans has eight on the day. The lead explodes out to 24 with a 34-10 lead. Explodes out, I was trying to say. I thought you said expunge. They got rid of the record. Yeah, that's right. It's up and good. And on the day, five of eight is Grigsville Perry. And they lead 35 to 10 with a minute to play in the second quarter. Johnson tries to dribble between them in like their cones, misses the shot, rebound pulled down, put back up no good by Walker. Rebound this time to Myers for the Tornadoes. He picks up his fourth board of the day. Gets it to Lipkeman who glances up at the clock and says, we've still got 45 seconds to try to score one more time. Let's run the stack, but Evans is really tender on that right ankle right now. He is holding it up. It's hurting him. I didn't see what happened there, really. I think on the uh, layup, he got clipped in the back. Okay. Got to step on the calf like you sometimes see happen in uh, yeah. baseball. He's really limping. 25 seconds to play. Ball comes back out front to Lipkeman. 
A 25 point lead and a chance to try to beat the buzzer here for the Tornadoes. Evans is doing everything he can to get it loose right now while they're kind of killing little clock. Lipkeman with it on the wing. It goes to Miller. Eight seconds left. Drives the lane and double dribble. Yep, he kind of picked it up, put it back down again. Turnover number three on the Tornadoes. 6.5 seconds left for Southeastern to go length of the court and cut into that 25-point lead. Inbounds pass comes to Johnson. He'll work it up. That is to Weiss. Weiss will drive toward the corner, had a bounce off of his foot, and they will not get a shot off at the buzzer. And that's the way the first half comes to a close. It's a 35-10 lead for the Grigsville Perry Tornadoes on top of the Southeastern Suns and JV Basketball Action. We'll have the Cards Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show your way after this. Everything in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong. Because when you switch to U.S. Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right. The Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Terms and conditions apply. See store at uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communications. Hometown Real Estate offers residential buying and selling specialists as well as land specialists across the Midwest. Call our office at 217-285-4502 or call Kate Marable at 217-370-9809. Speak to any of the hometown brokers for residential and commercial properties. Kate hopes you are enjoying the broadcast of our local teens enjoying their sports. Give Kate Marable a call at 217-370-9809. Hometown Real Estate for you. The Western Grain Service is your progressive feed and grain resource for Western Illinois. They offer a full range of feed products for all species and many grain merchandising opportunities with locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Deer Wester Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DeerWesterGrain.com. Welcome to the city of Pittsfield, a great place to call home or a great place to visit as a home away from home. Visit the beautiful downtown area with the Pike County Courthouse and many businesses and restaurants to enjoy. Then check out the Pittsfield City Lake, a great place for boating, fishing, and camping. And new to the lake this year, a disc golf course. Learn more about all that the city of Pittsfield has to offer by visiting their website, pittsfieldil.org. The city of Pittsfield and Mayor John Hayden wish the Sockies good luck this season. Hey, it is the Carnes Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show on Central Illinois Sports. Carnes Communication, your local U.S. Cellular location in Pittsfield, has the phones and accessories with personalized service. Stop by the corner of action. That's Washington and Jackson Street in Pittsfield, 217-285-5400 for Carnes Communication. Charlie reminds me that the firemen are having their drawing for that uh, golf cart I'm going to win tonight. So I'm looking forward to having that delivered to me. That'll be a lot of fun. And they'll be at the Riverbank tonight where we always enjoy ourselves too. Halftime, it's 35 to 10 in favor of Grigsville Perry. It was 22 to 8 after one quarter, a two-point second quarter, and 13 for Grigsville Perry against the Suns two in the second quarter of play. The uh, Suns are 4 of 18 in the first half, 2 of 4 from the arc and 0 of 2 from the free throw line. GP red hot, 15 to 23, four of eight from the arc and five of seven from the free throw line. GP's turned it over three times. The Suns 12 in this JV action and the score at halftime on the Cardinals Communication USA your halftime show is 35 to 10. We'll take the break, come back and tell you more on the halftime show. It's Cardinals Communication, your US Cellular representative bringing it to you on Central Illinois Sports. Did you know that PCRE Real Estate and Auction now offers a full-service auction alternative? Farmland, residential real estate, commercial real estate, estates, guns, antiques, farm equipment, and commercial equipment are a few examples that the experienced auction team is ready to assist you with. Our team can make the auction experience less stressful and smooth. Check out our next auctions at our new auction location at 500 Piper Lane in Pittsfield or call 217-430-2985 and speak with Jason Duke to learn more. 
Welcome to West Town Ford, serving Central and West Central Illinois. When you're shopping for a new vehicle, we believe you need a comfortable ambiance, dynamic selection of vehicles, competitive options for financing, and high-quality service to feel confident and stress-free throughout the car buying process. At West Town Ford, you will find just that, a great selection of Ford models and a team that will make the process as smooth as possible. West Town Ford Lincoln in Jacksonville, just 30 minutes away from high prices. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies ask, what's your salary? At Northwestern Mutual, we asked, what's your story? We know building the right financial plan means looking at more than money. That's why we start by asking the right questions, listening to what matters most to you, then guiding you every step of the way to help you live the life you want, now and years from now. Plan your financial story with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Don Kirk or Sheila Davidsmeyer today at 217-285-4014. Spring will be here before you know it. Don't let busted screens leave you feeling cooped up when the nice weather arrives. Pike County Glass is your one-stop shop for screen and window repair. From storm window and screen repair to screened in porch installation, Pike County Glass does it all and more. All with high-quality craftsmanship and products, plus customer service that is second to none. Call Pike County Glass at 217-285-4275 or stop by at 1071 West Washington Street in Pittsfield. Pike County Glass, West Central Illinois' glass experts. Welcome back on the Cards Communication USA Air Halftime Show, 35 to 10 in favor of the Grigsville Perry Tornadoes at halftime here. Glad you've joined us. We tell you about Real Net and Twine, located just north of Pittsfield across from the airport. Real Net and Twine is your local headquarters for concrete, lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, and so much more. Stop by and see them at 217 285 5013 for Real Net and Twine. And Central Illinois Sports, proud to bring you the games. Visit centralillinoisports.com. See the latest schedule of broadcast, and we've got a makeup game next Wednesday. Pittsfield will play Brussels at home, 6 o'clock varsity only game. Please subscribe to the YouTube page if you're watching now. Just hit that subscribe button. We'd appreciate that, and they'll send you notifications on all of our broadcasts on Central Illinois Sports. Individual scoring, first half, Owen Rigg for Southeastern has five points in the first half and three rebounds. Colton Bach with no points, but he's got five boards in the first half. Mason Fry with a three, and also Garrett Walker with a two in the game for their total of 10. On the other side, lots of scoring. Nine for Michael Myers, eight for Wyatt Lipkeman, nine for Logan Evans, five for Eli White, and four for Aaron Miller. Very rounded scoring there in the first half for the Tornadoes. 35 to 10 at halftime here, and as we take our break before the second half play-by-play, -play, we remind you about Pike County Concrete. When you need concrete for your next job, Give Pike County Concrete a call, 217-285-5548. Pittsfield and Jacksonville, their locations. 35-10, GP with the lead over the Suns. JV action with varsity to follow on Central Illinois Sports. In a world that seems to be out of control, your friends at First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, want you to know that the hope of God's love reaches out to you. God loves you, and he has a purpose for your life. If you'd like to learn more about this, we invite you to join us at 8 a.m. or at 1030 on Sunday mornings at 225 North Memorial Street in Pittsfield or online at fccpittsfield.org, our Facebook page, or our YouTube channel. First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, a safe place to learn and grow. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmdgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. It's time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FBFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams County. Phone 217-593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Bob Ray, Jesse Schutman, Triopian Kansas State grad Emily Carls, Nathan and new all-star accountant Madeline Hire. Illinois FBFM in Camp Point, working for you. If you're near retirement or thinking about retiring, you probably have questions. How do you make your savings last? How much should you take out and when? You're ready for retirement, but are your finances? 
Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help you build a strategy to help your finances keep up with your needs over the long haul. You've done what it takes to get there. Now it's time to make the most of retirement. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois for a face-to-fact appointment. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. 35 to 10 at halftime. Hope you enjoyed the Cardinals Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show. 285-5400 is Cardinals Communications number. They're located on Washington and Jackson, right on the corner there at the stoplight next to Subway. Stop by and see them. We're ready for the second half. And it's brought to you by Moose Lodge 420, proud supporters of community organizations and activities during the cold weather. Moose Lodge has their coat rack in front of their building. If you need a coat, please take one or two. If you have a coat to give, leave one, no questions asked. Stay warm and safe this winter. Don't forget, Alina Community Hospital is a warming center with this cold, cold, below zero weather. And we always want to remind people of that too, Charlie. It is cold and it is February. And water is wet. And Grigsville Perry will have the basketball to start the second half of play with Myers, Lipkeman, Miller, White, and Evans to start the second half. Countering is Southeastern with Verbeck. Excuse me, Banbeck. Also out there is Walker. Uh, let's see, Coltenbach, Johnson, and the fifth man is Mason Fry. Evans with it on the wing right side. Dribble drive. Kicks to the wing in Myers. Myers on the pull-up jump shot of the baseline. That's a good look. And he knocks it down. Double figures with 11. First guy there. He's really got good body control. And really does a nice job finishing his shot. 27-point lead now. The biggest bulge. We're looking at running clock. We're not careful in the fourth quarter. Stowing away. Myers on the run out. Finds Evans on the run into the front court. Left-hand layup no good. Rebound is saved in bounds and finds Josh Kaltenbach. It gets the ball to Fry. Fry across the half court line, 719 to play in the third quarter. He's picked up the ball, wants somebody to break free. That'll be Jesse Johnson to come get it. Now to Kaltenbach, goes free throw line to Fry. Back to Johnson for a long two. It's good as he banks it in. Johnson makes the shot his first two of the day. 37-12 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Lip coming with the ball, bounce pass left side, Evans. Looks for an opening, has picked up the dribble. Over in the corner to Michael Myers. Skips it out top, Lipkeman. He'll work it back toward the left side of the floor once again to Eli White. White will spin with it to Myers. Myers will try the drive here. Comes to the jump stop, over to Lipkeman. Patient are the Tornadoes offensively right now. Looking for a really good shot. Here's Lipkeman, splits the double team, throws a pass out to Miller. A good look from three, and he nails it. Miller's first three of the day, he's got seven. 40 to 12, and Lipkeman, Myers, Miller, and Evans have all hit threes in this contest. Pretty tough, aren't they? And they're up 40 to 12. Five of nine from the arc, you'll shoot that all day long. You probably should shoot some more if your percentage is that high, quite honestly. Colton Bach with it to Van Beck. He'll put it on the deck against Lipkeman, now to Colton Bach. Under six to play in the third quarter. Free throw line. Inside out from Walker to Johnson. His jump shot too long. Van Beck goes and gets the offensive rebound. Back to Coltenbach to Van Beck. He'll try a three from the wing. It's a little too hard. And the rebound down to Myers. He'll turn and take it toward the front court himself with his fifth board of the afternoon. Leaves it near the sideline to Lipkeman. Keenan Elliott calls out the play for his squad. And they'll look to execute here up 40 to 12. Lipkeman to Evans on the three-man weave out front. Now they'll get Miller involved. Look back door. There's Lipkeman. Free underneath. Shot no good. Gets his own rebound. Out top to Evans for the three. It's off the iron and hits the top of the backboard, I thought. Lipkeman now comes down with an offensive board. No good. And on the rebound, Lipkeman will be called for the foul. I don't did they, did they call him for a foul? Because he got a couple offensive boards. I just think they said he knocked it out of bounds. Well, the signal the foul, so I thought it was a foul. I understand. Weiss comes into the game. He'll set Walker down for a little while for Southeastern. His first team first, according to the board. 5.03 to play in the third quarter, 40-12. to 12. Grigsville Perry leads the Suns. That was quick. Here's a near turnover, and it will be a turnover for Southeastern. As Eli White came up with the ball, Lipkeman on the run into the front court. 
It's like he's got eyes in the back of his head. He could see that other defender coming up, and at the last moment just kind of switched hands with the ball. Right side, Evans. He'll work off the screen from Myers. Now throws a pass. That's stolen away by Kaltenbach. Turnover number four. Kaltenbach went up with the shot, came down with it, and is called for the travel. Well, that'll be the 15th turnover against the Suns, and GP's turned it over four times. Media timeout, 40-12, to 12, third quarter action. 431 left in the third quarter. GP with the lead. Back with more in a moment. Did you know that Prairie Land FS doesn't just sell seed? They treat it in box it right here at one of their local facilities, then deliver it to your farm or fields. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. Sharing a big family moment, working hard from home, relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age, where reliable internet has never been more important. Cascop keeps your family connected with consistent speeds up to one gig and Plume Whole Home Adaptive Wi-Fi. Make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit us online at cascom.com. Prairie Land FS is locally owned and operated. We proudly serve our neighbors like you with 24 hour service to ensure the comfort of you and your family. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. LSSD Trucking and 3D Leasing, phone 285-2808. Trucking for all your needs. See the Dunham Boys and their professional team. 40-12, to 12, GP with the basketball after the media timeout. It's their ball, 431 left, third quarter. Shooting for their largest lead of the afternoon, Rory Phillips has checked in for the first time for the maroon-clad Tornadoes. Miller has it on the wing left side, dribble drive in. He gets caught in the lane, has to work it back out to Evans. Evans a bounce pass to Miller. Miller toward the left side of things. They wanted to get White to post up. Now Miller will throw it out front to Myers. Myers on the dribble drive. Gets by his man. The man chasing him from behind is called for the push. Well, Weiss. Weiss is going to pick up the foul. His second. Team first. Kind of forgot. I hadn't seen Phillips and Tate today. Inbounds pass shot blocked. Eli White's shot is blocked, and the rebound down to the Suns. Into the front court, Johnson with it on the wing. He'll step inside the arc, fire away too hard. Rebound loose underneath, comes down. Chop it up no good by Weiss, but he'll shoot two free throws. Weiss got the offensive board, and the foul goes on GP. It'll go against Myers. That'll be his second, team second of the second half. Free, st free throws to be shot by Caleb Weiss. He's looking for his first points of the day. At the 351 mark. First one up by Weiss. Rolls off to the side. The Tyre Islander run and walk. A virtual event this year. Registered before February 20th. The event itself will be held the 20th through 31st of March. You can log on to Facebook to the Tyre Rylander run Facebook page to learn more about registration information. Weinberg came into the, into the game. That's Riley Weinberg. Kind of quietly. Second one up by Weiss is good. He's got his first point of the day. Makes it 40 to 13 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. 347 to play in the third. Miller with the basketball. Left wing finds Evans off the screen from White. Little pick and roll action. White right back out to Evans. One dribble into White. Little two-man game. He'll attack the middle. Try to leave it off at the last second to Phillips. And the ball is stolen away. And then Eli White will be called for the foul. White will pick up his third. Team foul number three of the second half. GP turned it over for the fifth time. Here comes Tate into the game for the first time today, and Phillips sits down. Also, Waters is going to return and replace White, it appears. Looks kind of like the Macomb Holiday Tournament. they got a long way to go to come in. Down to the X. Yeah, <laughs> just keep going. We just kept waving them down. 3.27 to play in the third. Pass in the middle goes to Fry. Out to Johnson for a three. No good. Rebound to Miller for the Tornadoes. Fourth defensive board for Miller on the day. He'll work it up the left-hand bounce. Leaves it off to Evans behind the arc. He'll try the drive in against Johnson. Little fadeaway shot, no good. A rebound tipped around and into the hands of Josh Kaltenbach. He'll bring it the other way for the Suns. Ooh, nice back cut down low. Shot up no good, though, by Weiss. 
And Myers has the board, and he's off to the races the other way. Leaves it to Miller for the deep three, no good. And the rebound hustling to get that one is Caleb Weiss, who then throws an outlet pass out of bounds as Johnson wasn't ready for it, and a turnover on the Suns. 16 turnovers on the Suns of the day. Weiss picked up his second board. 246 left third quarter, 40 to 13. And sitting down for a while will be Mason Fry. He'll yep. put uh, Rig into the game, Cade Rig. Right side with it is Evans, has picked up the dribble, looks down low, the pass is stolen away by Kaltenbach. His pass to Johnson into the front court, 2.30 to play. In the third, between the circles with it is Kaltenbach, over on the left side to Weinberg, back out to Kaltenbach, to Weinberg, to Kaltenbach, throw it back to Weinberg, I dare you, now free throw line, they'll get Rig involved, to Kaltenbach. He'll fake now, put on the deck to Weinberg. Shoot it for the three, blocked, and the rebound to Myers. He's got a handful of boards. How about seven? A uh, handful, if you live next to a nuclear power plant, seven <laughs> rebounds. <laughs> and Myers with 11 points on the day, looking for the double-double. Foul goes the other way, I think, against Colton Bach. That'll be his first, second team foul. And Myers looking to add to that total of 11. His team leads 40 to 13, makes the first. Trash Queen is serving Pike Adams, Scott, and Morgan counties with residential and commercial trash pickup and also roll off services, including 10 yard, 15 yard, and 20 yard roll off containers. Call 217 320 4320 for Trash Queen. Myers makes them both. He's got 13, 42 to 13, biggest lead of the game right now. And we see Fry come back in. And they've got six guys in the game just, right now. They won't cause any problems there. They'll make one of them leave. The official did not want to administer the ball till the other one left. He used to call a quick technical on that, and I'd always say, well, whose fault was it? It looked like the official needs to let things happen there, right? You know, three-man, one guy's <laughs> job at that point is to count people on the floor. And buy supper after the game. I think that's how it goes at the bus stop in Augusta. Yeah. Gary Mendenhall will meet you there. Turnaround shot, no good. Rebound is run down, though, on the offensive side by Fry. Out top to Kaltenbach. He's picked it up. Looks for an opening to Weinberg. Back to Kaltenbach. He'll shoot a three top of the key, and it's good. Makes His first point of the game. 42-16 with just over a minute 35 to play in the third. He had almost 20% to their scoring for the day with that shot. Evans between the circles to Miller. Over on the wing, Myers gets a touch. Works it off to Miller. Off the screen from Tate. Little pick and roll action. Tate flips it toward the rim. No good. Rebound out of bounds. Last touched by Waters. It'll be Suns basketball. 119 left third quarter. 42 to 16. The Suns are trying to add to their total after hitting the three just moments ago. Trash Queen scoreboard on Central Illinois Sports. 111 to play. In the third, Kaltenbach, Weinberg, lobs it in the middle, ball tipped, stolen away. Tornado's on the run. Myers toward the rim, left side, left hand layup, good. Good body control by Myers once again. He's got six or 15 close to, I think he's got to be averaging about 17 a game. 17.3 coming into the night. 48 seconds to play in the third. Turnaround shot in the lane, no good by Fry, and he's fouled. He'll shoot two. Waters will pick up the foul, his first, team fourth. 44-16, 46.4 seconds left. Great calculations there, O. Einstein. Fry has a three on the day, puts a free throw up. First one in and out, no good. He'll get another. Alana Express is here to serve you with walk-in medical care when you need it on the south side of the square in Pittsfield, 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every Monday through Saturday. They see patients 18 months and older. No appointments are necessary. Learn more about their services at IlliniHospital.com. Org. Jarrett Van Beck back into the game. Colton Box sits down. Second one up by Fry is good. He's got four. 44-17 with 44 seconds to play in the third. Evans with the basketball toward the wing. Hands it off to Miller. Miller will hand it to Myers as they run the little weave out in front with 30 seconds to play in the third period. He'll not come out and pressure him, and he'll just dribble the ball out near the center circle. Now Fry will come out and give him some light pressure. Myers will look to break the 
five count, hands it off to Miller with 16 seconds to play. In to Evans, down low Waters, good find. Waters shot no good. Rebound tipped around and pulled in by the Sun. Stolen back away though by Colby Tate with seven seconds, drives the lane, shot blocked out of bounds by Fry. It'll be ball out of bounds to the Tornadoes underneath. Tate did all he could do, but with the big man coming up behind him, he just got the blocked shot as he tried to score the bucket. Myers to inbound, 4.6 seconds to play in the third. It comes into Evans on the wing, right back to Myers in the corner. Four to three, no good. And the rebound is loose as the buzzer sounds. After three quarters, it's Griggsville Perry in control of this one, 44-17 over the Southeastern Suns in the Junior Varsity Contest on Central Illinois Sports. Pressures on you would like to thank everyone in our community for your support in the past 15 years. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space with spirit wear for Unity Mustangs, Liberty Eagles, Brown County Hornets, and our hometown Central Panthers. Businesses, let us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We are excited to now offer lasered hat patches. With limitations on attendance to local sporting events, we are excited to help bring you this game. Pressures on you. 506 Westwood, Camp Point, Illinois. PCRE Real Estate and Auction is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois. With two office locations, one in Pike County and the other in Calhoun County, PCRE Real Estate and Auction is the place to go when you're looking to buy or sell farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property. See our current listings at PCRERealEstate.com or call us at 217-285-5800 for PCRE Real Estate and Auction. It'll be Southeastern basketball. They're 6 of 27, 22%, 3 of 8 from the arc, 44%, 2 of 6 from the free throw line, 33%. 18 of 37 for Griggsville Perry dropped below to 48.6%, 5 of 13 from the arc. They steal the ball away as we start the fourth quarter. Let it by a 44-17 count, and then GP turns it over too. So seven turnovers on GP and 19 on Southeastern. Also, uh... GP is 7 of 19 from the free throw line, 77%. Colton Bach will bring the ball up. Brad Gooding with almost an offensive foul. Here's Colton Bach with the top of the key. Over on the elbow to Fry in the corner. It goes to Johnson. Top of the key, Colton Bach. Swings it around. Now they get it down low to Bartimus. Bartimus back into the game. And Bartimus throws it too high and out of bounds. A 20th turnover by the Suns. You do this long enough, you kind of get to know people, don't you, Jeremy? 7.27 to play. <laughs> Haven't seen Lipkeman for a while in this contest. And you wonder on back-to-back -back nights, here's a nice take to the rack by Evans. He'll put it up and in. He's got another two and makes it a 29-point lead. But on back-to-back -back nights, just coming back, if he's maybe feeling a little sore, possibly. Okay. Evans goes into double figures now with 11. So uh, he joins Michael Myers, free throw up. And good by Evans. He's got 12 now. That'll institute the running clock, a 30-point lead in the fourth quarter with 7-17 play. Top of the key with it, Colton Bach. High above his head there. Holds it up, Evans trying to get it. Colton Bach says, I'm the king of the mountain. You can't have it. Now he picks it up. Over on the left wing, Walker. Walker trying to avoid the double team to Colton Bach. Seven minutes to play. Free throw line, Fry. Turnaround shot, no good. Rebound, Bartimus saves it in. But he was on the end line, and so it will be GP basketball. Bartimus almost showed, a, showed off his soccer skills there for just a second. Can you intentionally kick it back in on the offensive side? Mm, I don't think you can. Maybe you could catch it on your toe and just lift it back in. I couldn't. No. Not physically or legally. Here's Myers going to shoot a three no good. And the rebound pulled in by the Suns Fry. He's got three on the day. Boards, that is. Colton Bach with it out top. Over on the wing. A three ball on the way and good by Garrett Walker. He's got five now. 47 to 20 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Just over six minutes to play in the junior varsity game. The varsity will follow right after this one. We, what we feel like will be a really entertaining contest. A lot of differences between these teams. Myers pull up shot no good. Rebound down to Fry again. He'll bring it the other way on the trot. Leaves it out top, Coltenbach. On the wing to Walker. The Coltenbach looked for the three, wasn't open. To Johnson, works it in the corner. Fry, good look, three ball on the way, no good. Good box up by Colby Tate. 
And allows his teammate Michael Myers to grab another board. Eight boards for Myers now. Two away from the double-double. He'll bring it across with the dribble. Over to White in the corner, Tate. Ball knocked out of bounds, and they'll say that it's off of GP, so a turnover on the Tornadoes. That's a tough one. Waters back into the game. He'll sit Evans down. Evans plays hard, doesn't he? Yes, he does. I'll tell you, probably the most improved player on the team, I think. He's kind of in that class that doesn't have a lot of other guys with him, so he's played with some of the younger guys and the older guys at different times. I think he's the only sophomore. I believe you're correct. Here's a shot on the way, no good, and a rebound tipped around. Comes down to Michael Myers, number nine. Yep, Phillips did all he could do on that one. Hey, Rory, I thought, had a good box out. The men kind of leveraged over his shoulder to try to get the rebound. In the NFL, on a uh, kick block, they'd call that a foul. Near the sideline is Michael Myers with the basketball, under five to play, 47-20, GP on top. Here's Tate. He'll fire a three. Good from downtown. Kobe Tate with the tray. His first three. Nice shot, Kobe. Makes it 50 to 20. Don't see him and Phillips out there at the same time often. In the corner, it comes to Johnson. Out between the circles to Coltenbach. He'll pick up the uh, dribble. Give it to Fry at the free throw line. No good. Rebound to White. Off to Myers. Myers will push it into the front court. Now slow some things down as he didn't have the numbers. He said, plus, you know, we're up 30. With 4.07 to play, we could try to run a little offense here. See if we can get some other guys involved. Phillips to Tate. Free throw line, White. White will attack down low. Has picked up the dribble. Looks for an opening. Most of five. Has to throw it back out to Myers. Myers with a couple of ball sweeps. He'll put it on the deck. Off to Rory Phillips. Phillips will take a couple of bounces of it. Now near the sideline left side is Myers. Patient is Griggsville Perry with it right now. Tate with both hands on it. There's a bounce pass near the sideline, right in front of Keenan Elliott to Rory Phillips. Out top, Myers, 3.30 remaining to Phillips right side. He'll try the tricky dribble on the little spin to Myers, over to Tate where he hit that three a moment ago. Tornadoes have been in control of this one from the word go. I would say from the opening tip, but you youngsters won't even remember what that is. Myers with it. He'll try the dribble drive in. Layup is up. No good. Rebound. Waters put back. Won't fall. Rebound. Myers is hustling for it. He and Johnson tie up. And it will stay with GP. Can't give Myers that 10th board, though. And we've got the mass timeout, do we not? I believe we do. 50 to 30. GP with the lead. 302 left in this one before the varsity game. Stay tuned. Are you searching for some meaning in life? Are you searching for a loving place to be accepted? If so, we would love for you to join us to take the next step in your life's journey together with us at Pittsfield Church of the Nazarene. Here at PCN, we're a group of real people looking to build real relationships as we journey together to experience real encounters with God. Join us online or in person at 227 West Washington in Pittsfield, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., online on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. Wish you had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house. Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Welcome back on the Trash Queen scoreboard, 50 to 20. GP with the lead and the basketball. Michael Myers out there in double figures with 15, 12 for Evans, and Myers needs another board for the double-double. Inbounds pass comes in, Waters couldn't corral it, and the steal comes to Van Beck. He'll bring it into the front court. Runner-up is good by Van Beck. Nice crossover there, and he gets his first two. Makes it 50 to 22, 249 remaining. Myers will play the point here. Over on the right side to Phillips. Man comes out and pressures him, and uh, Phillips will kind of shove him <laughs> off of the left arm and get called for the offensive foul. Oh, Rory, that was funny, buddy. I'll tell you what, you just said, get away from me, and he just shoved him out of the way, and he got caught because the referee was right there with him. 15 foul first on Rory Phillips, and just kind of funny, old buddy. 
I like how hard he plays. Rig will throw it out front to Fry, and out of Rig, back to Fry. He'll put it on the deck one time, give it to Weinberg. I wonder if he's related to Barry Weinberg. No? You don't think so? I, I no, I, I don't know. To Van Beck, and Van Beck is fouled. It'll be ball to bounds underneath for the Suns. Tate gets called for the holding foul. His first, team sixth. 145 and counting left. I'm Ryan glad that on the for quite a while. Yep, I'm glad that on the board here they can put the team names above that they uh, specify that it's the Southeastern Suns, not just the regular Suns. Here's a steal by Meyer. Turnover number 21 on the Southeastern Suns. Isn't SE, that kind of funny? SE versus GP. But Southeastern's not really two words. It's a compound word. Bowen and Augusta, those were the days, plus West Point. Bowen and Augusta is not a compound word. And Michael Myers is fouled with 109 to play. So ends today's lesson. That foul looks like Weinberg's going to be the guy called for it. No relation to Barry, as we've determined. Inbounds pass. Myers gets it to Phillips. To Tate out front, 53 seconds remaining. Myers oh. needs to shoot a layup and miss it and get the free foul. <laughs> I don't think he's worried about that. No, one. and he doesn't know. Oh, you don't think he keeps track of his rebounds? He's probably going to tell you you missed one. He already has a double-double. <laughs> well, Steve, when we see you, we'll find out whether you guys thought we did. It's all right, Steve. You can tell him. He said you guys. It's, it's really just Jack. I don't keep any stats. <laughs> 28 seconds left. I'll say. GP just trying to dribble this one out. 50-22 the lead. Tate with it on the wing left side. Man comes up and just slaps him right in the arm. Tate says, what are we doing? I was just trying to hold the ball. Now it's knocked loose and held ball. It'll be Suns basketball. Turnover number 11. Tate's just like, man, uh, I was just going to hold it here. and You just slapped me. Five seconds left. And Weinberg will throw it out front to Fry. Fry will launch a three at the buzzer. It's no good. And this contest has come to a close. The Grigsville Perry Junior Varsity Squad defeats Southeastern. The Suns, 50 222. We take you to the post game show. It's presented by Illini Community Hospital, where Jack will have final stats and will name the Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, player of the game. Coming your way next. You can plan for most things in your life, but being sick isn't one of them. That's why Illini Express has expanded hours so your family can get the care you require. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Illini Express can see patients 18 months and older, no appointment necessary. When you can't wait to feel better, Illini Express is here for you. Located on the square in Pittsfield. Learn more at IlliniHospital.org. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full-service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at GoBestSystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. With all the financial headlines, are you wondering if your retirement savings will last? The market's ups and downs can keep you guessing, especially if you're approaching retirement or considering it. Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help. If you have more questions than answers about what's next, you can work together to help ensure you're prepared for your journey. After all, retirement isn't the end of the trek, it's the new beginning. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investments, member SIPC. Western Illinois Fellowship of Christian Athletes offers support to our coaches, teachers, and athletes. Our mission is to help each grow in a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Western Illinois FCA invites you to go to westernilfca.org to find out more or to join us as a financial partner. Look for some great events coming up in May, banquets in Jacksonville and Quincy, and the Million Dollar Golf Shot too. Western Illinois FCA, working for you. Welcome back to the post game show presented by Illini Community Hospital. The final in this contest, the win for the Griggs Perry Junior Varsity Squad, 50 to 22 over the Southeastern Suns. And Jack has a look at your final stats. 
8 of 33 with the Suns, 24%, 4 of 11 from New York, 36%, 2 of 6 from the free throw line, 33%. They turned it over 21 times, led in scoring, 8 points from Mason Fry, 3 from Josh Kaltenbach, 5 from Owen Rigg on the day, also 5 from Garrett Walker. Jarrett Van Beck had 2, a single point from Caleb Weiss, and 2 for Jesse Johnson. On the other side, GP was 20 of 44, 45%, 6 of 16 from the field or from the three-point line, eight of 10 from the free throw line, 15 for Michael Myers with nine boards. Uh, Wyatt Lipkeman had eight points in the day and he added four rebounds, 12 points from Logan Evans on the day. Also, uh, Eli White had five and Aaron Miller had seven on the day for GP. Time to name our Derry Harris, Edward Jones financial representative, player of the game, Charlie, to tell you about it. Well, financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, parents, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game on Central Illinois Sports. And our Player of the Game this one, Logan Evans, really played well on both ends of the court. Got involved on the offensive side early with the first three-pointer of the game and helps lead his team to yet another victory on the junior varsity level, he's our player of the game, presented by Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris. A timeout here will set the stage for the varsity matchup between the Suns and the Tornadoes on Central Illinois Sports. For you to find out the difference that thousands have found with Westtown Ford in Jacksonville. If you're looking for a new Ford, Lincoln, or maybe a used car truck or SUV, why don't you take the short drive to Jacksonville, Illinois, to Westtown Ford. They have the best sales and service in the area, and what a selection, thousands to choose from. It's Westtown Ford in Jacksonville, 30 minutes from high prices. Phone 217-245-7101 or go to westtownford.com. Damon Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon guys to get it right the first time. No job too big. Have you seen Braden and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, we couldn't resist. Call Braden today at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon and plumbing recommended by our family for your family. When you hear Pike County Glass, what do you think of? Is it storm window and screen repair? Commercial doors, windows and storefronts? Maybe it's auto glass repair, including windshields, rock chip repair, side glass and back glass. Or it could be screen and porches, glass showers and doors, and, well, you get the point. Glass is in their name, and glass is what they do. Pike County Glass, serving the entire area with high-quality craftsmanship, products, and customer service that's second to none. You'll find Pike County Glass at 1071 West Washington Street in Pittsfield, or call them at 217-285-4200. Seven five. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at gobestsystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. Well, we welcome you to another broadcast on Central Illinois Sports, and we're live from the home of the Southeastern Suns in Augusta, Illinois, where the 101 Suns play host to the 5-0 Griggsville Perry Tornadoes. Good afternoon to you once again. I'm Charlie Hull. Jack and John are alongside. It's the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. The Tornadoes coming off a big win against North Green last night. The Suns playing for the first time since they defeated West Hancock rather handedly. And the uh, broadcast this afternoon is brought to you by Great Rivers Bank, Carnes Communications, the city of Pittsfield, Best Systems Insulators, Hometown Real Estate, Kate Marable Broker, Lanham Chiropractic, John Fetty and Sons Custom Builders, Geared Up Custom Apparel and Awards, Trash Queen, PCRE Incorporated, and Auction Service, Cascom, Lipkeman Seed, Pioneer Seed, Alani Community Hospital, the Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, Logan Ag, the First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Nucci's Restaurant, Niebuhr Funeral Home, Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Derek Harris, Illinois FBFM Bob Ray, Deer Wester Grain Services, Prairieland FS, State Farm Insurance Agent Rod Prentice, Damon's Plumbing, Westtown Ford Lincoln, the Pittsfield Church of the Nazarene, 
Bowler's Universe, Press Yours on You, Real Met and Twine, LSSG Trekking, and 3D Leasing, and Pike County Concrete. Pike County Express, Gary Mendenhall, former mayor of Pittsfield, the Ty Rylander Run, Moose Lodge 420, Western Illinois Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and also Northwestern Mutual, Sheila David Smyre. Those are the sponsors helping to bring this and every game to you here on Central Illinois Sports. And this afternoon, it's the Tornadoes and the Suns. We're looking forward to the matchup. We'll talk more about it, including the Westtown Ford. Keys to the game coming up next after this. Extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house. Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. If your job situation is changing because of layoffs or restructuring, you may have to make several decisions. One important decision may be what to do with your retirement plan. Make sure your retirement stays on track. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, can help. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois. Edward Jones, making sense of investing. Member SIPC. Hometown Real Estate offers residential buying and selling specialists as well as land specialists across the Midwest. Call our office at 217-285-4502 or call Kate Marable at 217-370-9809. Speak to any of the hometown brokers for residential and commercial properties. Kate hopes you are enjoying the broadcast of our local teens enjoying their sports. Give Kate Marable a call at 217-370-9809. Hometown Real Estate for you. Dear Western Grain Service is your progressive feed and grain resource for Western Illinois. They offer a full range of feed products for all species and many grain merchandising opportunities with locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Dear Western Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DearWesternGrain.com. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show. Be sure and see the folks at Great Rivers Bank. You know, they are in Liberty, Pittsfield, and Barry doing a great job. Go to greatriversbank.bank to find out more. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Trash Queen, our scoreboard sponsor. They serve Pike, Adams, Scott, and Morgan County residential and commercial trash service. Roll-offs of 10, 15, and 20-yard containers, 217-320-4320. Glad you've joined us for the broadcast on this Saturday afternoon. This is getting to be a tradition on a weekly basis. Missed out on the junior high game today, and I know they're going to reschedule that one too with Triopia. In fact, I do believe I heard the reschedule time on that. Didn't Who's I? that? Uh, the Triopia and PCS Braves. March the 5th. That's a Friday at 6 o'clock. We'll be there. Hey, let's take a look at the Westtown Ford Lincoln keys to the game, Jack. Jingle, jingle, jingle. It's the keys. Jimmy Burton, Wade Moeller, and the guys will help you with those from Westtown Ford. For the Greensville Prairie Tornadoes, they just need to get the tempo going like they have, take care of the basketball, shoot it well, let Koonsman create. Kirk doing a good job inside. I'll tell you, the Freeman boy, Jackson, he really helps things make things move, and then Avery Bradshaw adds to that. And uh, they just do a lot of things right. But they've got a tough chore on the defensive side, the best offensive player in downstate Illinois. As far well, as they've got to stay out of foul trouble. That's big. We saw that last night when Lothridge, had some foul trouble. The Tornadoes had a little bit of trouble, but uh, when he was able to get back in, they were able to expand that lead against North Green. For this uh, Southeastern team, we talk about, you know, against Southeastern, if you can hold Danny Stevens under 30 points, you got a chance to win the game. But some of these other guys are starting to really find their own scoring ability. And uh, Coach Upkiss tells us that Jared Keaton is now ready to uh, join the roster once again as he has enough practices in after having to be out for a little bit. And he'll be a big addition to this uh, team, the 5'9 senior. Jerry Keaton is a guy that was pivotal last year in being able to be a playmaker. Fry does a really nice job for these guys and the young rig boy all play off of Stevens. And uh, so you got to look for all those people to do good things. If you can get a couple more people in double figures with what Stevens can do, It'll be a very beneficial thing. And I think we've got a three-man crew different than the JV referees. And I don't know that I've seen that this year. Well, now you have. That's the Westtown Ford Lincoln Keys to the game. We'll pause for a timeout on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. 
Welcome to Westtown Ford, serving Central and West Central Illinois. When you're shopping for a new vehicle, we believe you need a comfortable ambiance, dynamic selection of vehicles, competitive options for financing, and high-quality service to feel confident and stress-free throughout the car buying process. At Westtown Ford, you will find just that, a great selection of Ford models and a team that will make the process as smooth as possible. Westtown Ford Lincoln in Jacksonville, just 30 minutes away from high prices. Welcome to the city of Pittsfield, a great place to call home or a great place to visit as a home away from home. Visit the beautiful downtown area with the Pike County Courthouse and many businesses and restaurants to enjoy. Then check out the Pittsfield City Lake, a great place for boating, fishing, and camping. And new to the lake this year, a disc golf course. Learn more about all that the city of Pittsfield has to offer by visiting their website, pittsfieldil.org. The city of Pittsfield and Mayor John Hayden wish the Sockies good luck this season. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of the time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game on Central Illinois Sports. For all your investment needs, call Derek Harris at 217-222-7173 or stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Did you know? Know that PCRE Real Estate and Auction now offers a full-service auction alternative? Farmland, residential real estate, commercial real estate, estates, guns, antiques, farm equipment, and commercial equipment are a few examples that the experienced auction team is ready to assist you with. Our team can make the auction experience less stressful and smooth. Check out our next auctions at our new auction location at 500 Piper Lane in Pittsfield or call 217-430-2985 and speak with Jason Duke to learn more. Welcome back on the Great Rivers Bank pregame show on Central Illinois Sports. Both teams finishing up their warm-ups in preparation for this contest. You know, Griggsville Perry playing their sixth game of the season already, and the uh, squad from Southeastern playing just their third. Yeah, it's uh, – Griggsville Perry's been busy, and uh, they played – Throughout the weather and everything. So uh, John almost fell off the stage. Well, John was taking Looking a nosedive. Looking the flag, I think. I was taking a nosedive off the front of the front of the stage for a second. I was going to be like, John, it's not that bad. But I think we're going to see a good game here this afternoon between the Suns and the Tornadoes. And Griggsville Perry on a back-to-back -back turnaround here. Let's see if they can come out with some good energy early in this one. And it'll be a pleasure, as always, to watch Stevens play. It's a young man that uh, is highly thought of already on the recruiting side of things. And uh, it'll be fun just to watch his game continue to grow. We'll have the national anthem break. We'll take a look at the starting lineups. We'll have the play-by-play -play as Southeastern and Grigsville Perry go head-to-head -head on Central Illinois Sports. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies ask, what's your salary? At Northwestern Mutual, we asked, what's your story? We know building the right financial plan means looking at more than money. That's why we start by asking the right questions, listening to what matters most to you, then guiding you every step of the way to help you live the life you want, now and years from now. Plan your financial story with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Don Kirk or Sheila Davidsmeyer today at 217-285-4014. Spring will be here before you know it. Don't let busted screens leave you feeling cooped up when the nice weather arrives. Pike County Glass is your one-stop shop for screen and window repair. From storm window and screen repair to screened in porch installation, Pike County Glass does it all and more. All with high-quality craftsmanship and products, plus customer service that is second to none. Call Pike County Glass at 217-285-4275 or stop by at 1071 West Washington Street in Pittsfield. Pike County Glass, West Central Illinois' glass experts. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. Bullish Universe brings us our starters tonight. They are open 4 to midnight this evening. Open bowling, great menu items, and more. Bullish Universe on the west side of Pittsfield. For the Tornadoes, Garrett White and company 5-0 and oh on the year, and they'll start at a guard, a 5'10 junior, Jackson Freeman. At the second guard, the 5'11 junior, Tate Koonsman. The third guard is the... Uh, 
6'1 senior Avery Bradshaw. Out of forward, he's a 6'0 senior Cash Kirk. At the other four, the 6'0 junior Ethan Lothridge. Lothridge, Kirk, Bradshaw, Koonsman, and Freeman for Grigsville Perry. For the Southeastern Suns and head coach Brett Upkiss, they're 1-1 one one on the season, and their lineup tonight will look like this. At a guard, he's a 5'9 junior Cole Glick. At a second guard, a 5'9 junior Ramsey Fry. And at the third guard is the six-foot freshman, Owen Rigg. Out of four, the six-four sophomore, Danny Stevens. And at the other four, the six-foot junior, Eli Leesman. Leesman, Stevens, Rigg, along with Fry and Glick for the Suns. You know, it wouldn't be hard to have a jump ball, but we'll have the handoff today, and it'll be brought to you by Waters Concrete. Tim Waters offers quality concrete for your next build. Driveway, sidewalks, decorative patios, and anything with concrete. Call Tim and the folks at Waters Concrete today, 309-252-1052 for Waters Concrete. And, well, ge and geared up custom apparels, don't forget about them, Thursday and Friday, 10 to 6, Saturday, 9 to 2. Well, we have a change of the starting lineup, a last moment addition. Jarek Heaton will get the start in place of Glick. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I had that, I thought, on mine. Well, it was on yours. That's great. Man, if you just put it on mine, we yeah. all would have known. I, I fixed it on mine. We're ready to hand this one off at Southeastern, home of the Suns, and it's nice and toasty, 72 degrees in here, which is approximately 72.5 degrees warmer than it is outside. And the Tornadoes will have it first as they're the visiting team, and Tate Koonsman will bring it up. Over on the right side, Kirk in the corner, Bradshaw. Now to Koonsman, he throws a pass stolen away on the run out into the front court, Eaton with the steal, layup is good, and the Suns an early 2-0 advantage on the Trash Queen scoreboard. So Jarek Heaton makes an early impact play. Didn't see him against Pittsfield. That's a different uh, lineup this way. Here's got another steal, stolen away again. Larceny layup blocked and out of bounds off of Heaton, so that'll be a turnover. Bob Bakken, the official on the far end, says Heaton had it go off of him. 2 nothing Suns in the early going, just underway. I believe Bob Bacham was inducted into the IBCA Hall of Fame as an official, if I remember right. Here's a dribble drive by Avery Bradshaw, and he's fouled by Leesman on the floor. Leesman will pick up the foul. It'll be his first, team first, first foul of the ball game. And we get things rocking and rolling right in front of us. We're sitting on the stage. I got to think about, uh, we're on the west end of the gymnasium. That's what I was thinking. The sun sets in the <laughs> west. Inbounds pass comes in for the Tornadoes. Out front with it is Koonsman. Crossover dribble, leaves it off to Kirk. Had trouble with the catch there. Now he'll attack the middle. Ball knocked out of bounds. Good active hands by Ramsey Fry. And it will be Grigsville Perry basketball. Ramsey made a nice play. Bradshaw to throw it in. Looking, looking, finding Kirk. Layup, good, and one. Tied it two on the nice catch from Kirk for the bats from Bradshaw on the and one. Could give us our first lead change of the day. Who did that one get called? It's Leesman. He picks up his second very early in a short line up here. Kirk makes it. Lead change number one. GP up three to two on the three points from Kirk. You know, Jack, my phone stopped working for there for a moment, but I called tech support and John fixed it for me. What was the matter with it? I have no idea, but he just looked at it and it started working well, again. He's had that effect on people before. No extra charge. He's an x-ray guy, you know. With the basketball is Ramsey Fry He's, on the dribble. He may be radioactive. <laughs> Works it down low to Rig out on the wing. Right-hand side, three by Glick, no good. Rebound fought for, out of bounds. It'll stay with the Suns as Freeman and Rig fought hard down there for that board. Freeman's not very big, but he has to fight against the big guys a lot of time. He's a tough little nut. Inbounds pass comes on the right side. Bright shoes, Jarek Keaton, no good. Rebound on the play comes down to Freeman, his first. Speaking of bright shoes, wearing the gold sneakers is Koonsman. Leaves it on the wing to Kirk. Kirk will have the ball swiped out a couple of times. Now he's picked it up. Out front to Bradshaw. He has his pocket picked by Heaton if he can secure it. Bradshaw's on the floor with it and a timeout called by Garrett White. 3-2, Tornadoes on top. 6.22 to play in the opening quarter as you watch high school basketball on Central Illinois Sports. I'm Gary Mendenhall. I am running for mayor because I believe in the future of Pittsfield and its citizens. We have the potential to thrive economically and safely in a state where the outlook appears tough. 
Let's prosper and grow as a community through job creation, tourism, and recreation. We are neighbors and friends who care, love, support, and stand up together. On April 6th, vote Gary Mendenhall for Mayor of Pittsfield. Coach Garrett White gets the assist and the quick time out there to save the turnovers. Bradshaw went to the floor. GP basketball leading 3-2. to two. Southeastern's defense very aggressive right now, and they look like they're in a man to me. Coons in with it, hands it off to Freeman. Bounce pass is kicked out of bounds by the active feet of Jerick Heaton. We, he's got green shoes on, blue shoes for Rig, orange for Stevens, and then the gold for Coonsman. We got the Crayola crown box out before the game, it looks like. Here's a pass down low. Kirk, really nice patience. He goes up and scores his first basket of the He's night. He's got five, actually, all five. Since his game. last basket yeah. and the and one. Thank you for letting me finish, and it's five to two <laughs> tornadoes. Six minutes to play in the first. Right side, Glick gets a touch. There's a pass, tip stolen away. Stevens bats the ball down, but it comes right to Bradshaw. Off to Coonsman. Shot good, and one. He took the harm from Ramsey Fry, still got it to go, and he'll head to the free throw line. Fry will pick up the foul. It'll be his first team third. Koonsman with the quick back and forth, and that's why he didn't get the offensive foul. He kept moving, and there wasn't anything Fry could do about it. And with a 7-2 to two lead, that's the biggest in the ball game for GP. And guess what Koonsman can do from the free throw line? He can add to it. I jinxed him. I usually don't do that. Stevens with the rebound, and that's the first time he's touched the ball in this yeah. game, and it's 5.45 to play in the first. Don't want that to happen much. Stevens near the sideline finds Heaton. Out top, Fry over to Glick. He fakes the pass, now skips it across to Heaton. Heaton on the dribble drive to Glick in the corner. Stevens for the long two. It's off the mark, and the rebound to Avery Bradshaw. He throws a pass, Stoneman away. Stevens with the steal. He'll attack on the runner. Bradshaw tries to tie him up. And holds on the shot, and two shots coming up for Danny Stevens. Bradshaw's first team first. Danny Stevens to the free throw line, looking for his first points of the game. 7-2 to two GP. GP's in that very tight zone right now, kind of surrounding Stevens. So it looks like the big guy with five little guys around him. First one up by Stevens is good. Waters Concrete and Tim Waters, they offer quality concrete for your new build, driveways, sidewalks, decorative patios, anything with concrete, Waters Concrete, the place to call, 309-252-1052. Thank you to Tim Waters. Second one by Stevens. In and out, no good. Rebound comes off to, to Lothridge. That's his first. 7-3 advantage for the Tornadoes in the early going. 5-15 to play in the first on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Bradshaw with the basketball. He'll work the dribble. Nice backdoor pass down to Freeman, who lays it up and in for his first two. And then on the inbounds play, the Suns don't take it out properly, and they'll turn it over. Third turnover against the Suns. They've got that passing lane out front uh, messed up for Grigsville Perry, but you got to play the defense on the backdoor. Lob in. Koonsman to Lothridge, who puts it up and in. Pretty give from Koonsman on the lob to Lothridge. It's 11-3, to and here come the Tornadoes. 4.58 left first quarter. They got the lead. We take the break. In the charming town of Pittsfield, Illinois, awaits a dining experience sure to impress. Nucci's Restaurant, specializing in Italian cuisine, succulent steaks, seafood, pasta, burgers, sandwiches, and scrumptious desserts all made to order. Mouthwatering and high-quality dishes at affordable prices. Nucci's is the perfect setting for a dinner date or a family meal. It's more than dining, it's an experience. Check out Facebook for live entertainment. Once you experience Nucci's, it will become a favorite destination. 4.58 left in the first quarter, 11-3 GP, and that timeout came the way of Augusta, southeastern. They'll have the ball length of the court to go as Fry will look to bring it up against the 2-2-1 pressure for Grigsville Perry over the top of the defense. It goes to Rig, hands it to Fry. They've not had very many touches for Danny Stevens here in the early going as the Tornado's surrounding him at the high post. Out top, Fry holds it high above his head. He'll put it on the deck now, leaves it over on the right side to Heaton. Stevens will usually come out front and take over the ball. And he might need to here. Here's a pull-up shot by Fry. It's off the mark and the rebound to Koonsman for the Tornadoes. He wants to push into the front court. He's bumped and fouled by Jarek Heaton. And Jerry Heaton will pick up the foul. It'll be his first, team foul number four. 
Now we've got a mass timeout, and we'll take it. 425 left in the quarter, 11 to 3. GP with the lead. The media timeout. More comes your way in a minute. They say nothing in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong. Because when you switch to U.S. Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right. The Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Terms and conditions apply. See store at uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communications. Prairie Land FS is locally owned and operated. We proudly serve our neighbors like you with 24-hour service to ensure the comfort of you and your family. Prairie Land FS, your leading supplier of choice. Well, we got the southeastern timeout to 4.58 mark. Then the next dead ball, we took the media timeout, and that's where we're at right now. 11-3 is the lead for Grisville Perry. And we tell you about Lipcomb and Seed Sales, your pioneer dealer, including precision farming and crop insurance. Call Aaron at 217-430-4516. Brett at 217-242-2703. Or call Casey Lipcomb and she'll tell Evan. She'll give him a note. She'd be happy to do that for him also. Lipcomb and Seed Sales, your pioneer dealer. It'll be GP Basketball. We're back to live action. It is ball to bounds too the tornadoes Freeman wants to inbound it back door Bradshaw off the window it would not fall rebound comes off to Stevens the other way he gets it across court now back top of the key to rigged ball taken away the turnover against Southeastern they're fourth oh hey you're back you're Bradshaw back with I it. couldn't find you yeah right there with you you just you stepped went, right in you went to sleep kind of rude you stepped in and that's dancing, and you just took her away. Here's a nice take by Koonsman. And they can't take him away so far. He's got another basket. Makes it 13-3. Biggest lead of the day right now. Into the front court with it is Heaton. He's out of control. Travels. Turnover on the Suns. Fifth turnover. Heaton made contact on Cash, and Cash didn't move. And Heaton could have got the charging foul, but instead just got the turnover, and that's five on Southeastern. Ten-point lead for Grigsville Perry. How do they get these leads so quick? Quick is the key, I believe. They back are quick. doors, back doors. Here's a pass to Freeman, has used the dribble. He wants somebody to break free. He'll throw it out top to Lothridge. Shovels it out to Freeman. Over on the wing, Bradshaw for a three. It's off the mark, and Stevens has the rebound for the Suns. He'll bring it up himself with 3.23 to play in the opening quarter. He has one point and has not shot the ball, I don't believe. Out front with it is Fry. Over on the wing to Riggs, skips it across to Heaton, back out front Fry. He'll get it to the free throw line, Stevens, turnaround shot there, good find, and he'll score his first field goal of the day to make it 13-5. Koonsman brings it across for the Tornadoes. Over on the right wing, Bradshaw, little pick and roll action with Kirk, drives in, blocked out by Stevens, and he made that look pretty easy. Yep, Kirk gives up about six inches to him, and you're not going to be able to take it down there. Danny's got long arms, a good leaper along with that. It'll be Bradshaw taking it out of bounds, 251 left in the first quarter. Lothridge gets it on the inbounds to Kirk, drives the lane, kicks it back out to Koonsman. Koonsman is going to be called for traveling. Yep, ball didn't, st oh, that, no, nice. it's traveling. The, the whistle yeah. didn't make enough of a noise for people to stop, and they kept playing, but the fourth turnover, as they had the travel, Koonsman with a little shake and bake. Out of bounds, length of the court to go for the Suns. Fry and company look to bring it up against the 2-2-1. Rig gets it in the backcourt, needs some help, throws it across to Stevens near the sideline. Now to Heaton. Jarek Heaton shovels it off to Fry. Free throw line, Stevens. A little inside out game, and that ball out of bounds. Another Suns turnover. Six on them on the day. They're down by eight, 13-5, and GP on the attack again. 227 left in the quarter. Biggest lead of 10, eight right now. Tornado is just very aggressive on both ends of the court right now. Koonsman out front to Bradshaw. Dribble drive in, goes at Stevens, and missed the shot. Rebound down to Stevens. He's trying to gain the dribble and does. Takes it into the front court at Freeman. Left hand layup is good. And Stevens, another two, makes it 13 7. As the Suns trying to make a little run at it here. Koonsman on the dribble. 
to Freeman right side. Off the cash, Kirk, he'll drive the lane, chop it up, blocked by Fry, but they'll say he got part of the body. And Kirk to the free throw line. His second, team fifth. Kirk back to the free throw line, where he got the and one earlier and has five points, 13 to seven, 156 left. First quarter on the Trice Queen scoreboard. Kirk's first one is up and good. The Pine County Express is your local family-owned newspaper. They've been serving Pine County since 1991. Check them out each Wednesday on a newsstand near you. Ash Kirk's second one can give his team that eight-point lead again, and he does. He's got seven. 15-7 is the score. Rig in the backcourt finds Heaton. Good catch there. He's toward the sideline, nearly out of bounds, saves it in to Rig over on the wing. Free throw line, Stevens to Fry. Off to Heaton, looks down low. Nothing open there. Very active hands for GP. Lob down low to Stevens. He'll put it up and in. He's got, what, seven now? Seven already in the game, and they've come very quickly. Seven of his team's nine. The team trails by six right now, 15 to nine on the Trash Queen scoreboard. 120 to play in the quarter. Kirk. Knifes the lane, leaves it down to Bradshaw. Offensive foul as Fry takes the charge and a dangerous chance there. He could have picked up his third. Yep, Leesman's back into the game too, but Bradshaw will pick up the foul. That'll be his second. Team foul number two. Miller into the game. Aaron Miller for the first time in the varsity contest. You know, Grigsville Perry trying to go in the middle and hoping they can maybe get Stevens in foul trouble. That's something he doesn't normally do. But it's not a bad plan because if you could execute it, and make it a little bit easier. They've definitely got a game plan on, against Southeastern here. And right now it's working. They've got a six-point lead, but the Suns trying to cut it to four. Fry has picked it up near the sideline to Rig. Back to Fry. Spins with it a couple of times to Rig on the wing. Long skip pass left side. Heaton gets a good look from three. Missed it. And the rebound to Lothridge, his second. Works it to Freeman. 42 seconds to play in the first. He'll leave it behind for Koonsman. He'll walk it toward the front court for the Tornadoes, and no reason to be in a big hurry if your GP has six-point lead and the basketball with 30 seconds to play in the first. They'll stack it up at the elbows, and Koonsman will dribble it out front against Fry. Brett Efkis thinks that might be closely guarded, I believe, is the point he's trying to make. <laughs> now Kirk with the basketball. Works against Rigg. Over it goes to Freeman with Leesman guarding him. Five seconds left. Freeman is going to be fouled by Leesman and he'll pick up his third. Yep, Leesman's going to pick up his third foul. And that's going to be a huge foul at this stage of the game. His third team six, 4.2 seconds left in the quarter. And Glick is back in and Leesman will take a chair. Brett Efka's pleading his case. <laughs> A flawed conversation. Yeah. Coons been inbounds pass, stolen away by Stevens. He'll put up a half court shot at the buzzer. It's no good. Rebound put back. Actually, Heaton had a chance. If he could have gotten that to fall, it did not. And the first quarter comes to a close. It's 15 9. Griggs will appear with the advantage over Southeastern after a quarter of high school basketball action on Central Illinois Sports. It's time to be thinking about tax planning. You can count on Illinois FEFM for accounting, consulting, and tax preparation for farmers and businesses in Pike, Brown, and Adams County. Phone 217-593-7233. Illinois FBFM can take care of your farm accounting needs. Get your accounts in order for this tax season. Contact Bob Ray, Jesse Schutman, Triopian Kansas State grad Emily Carls, Nathan, and new all-star accountant Madeline Heyer. Illinois FBFM in Camp Point, working for you. If you're near retirement or thinking about retiring, you probably have questions. How do you make your savings last? How much should you take out and when? You're ready for retirement, but are your finances? Your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, Derek Harris, can help you build a strategy to help your finances keep up with your needs over the long haul. You've done what it takes to get there. Now it's time to make the most of retirement. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois for a face-to-fact appointment. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. Grigsville Perry leads at 15-9 after one quarter. Suns are 4 of 12, 33%. GP 6 of 11 for 54%. Neither team's made a three. GP's tried one and Southeastern four. 
One of two for the Suns from the free throw line, three of four for GP at Suns Basketball. And really for as many three-pointers as they shoot in the junior varsity game, the varsity team for GP does not shoot a ton of threes. Not a lot. They can make them, though. Heaton with the basketball for Southeastern. They're down 15-9 over to Stevens. A little give-and-go action back to Stevens, and he'll miss the dunk. The rebound down to Koonsman. Koonsman with what, his second or third board? Second board. To Freeman. It's Freeman, Koonsman, Miller, Kirk, and Lothridge for GP. On the other side, Glick, Stevens, who's going to get a steal here. Seventh turnover on GP. That's a lot for them. Rig, Heaton, and Fry round out the five for the Suns. 7-19 to play in the first half. It's 15-9. Griggs will parry with the advantage. Southeastern with the basketball. And the kick is up and good as it goes off of Koonsman's foot and into the third row of bleachers here. Luckily, it hit a fan. Who was at least 12 feet away from the floor. That's hard to do. Tough defense on both sides right now. A lot of fouls. <clears throat> Am I the only one that thinks it's funny there's so many different colored shoes? I must be the only one. Okay, thanks, guys. Here's a pass down low. Stevens will get it on the baseline. Throws it back across. To Fry, top of the key for the jump shot. Three, no good. And Lothridge has the board. GP doing well not to give Southeastern second and third chance opportunities. Lothridge turns down a three-point look. He'll give it to Freeman. Now Lothridge to uh, Koonsman, excuse me. Man-to-man -man here for Southeastern. to played a 1-3-1 one, one, almost exclusively against Mitzfield. In the corner, Miller with the basketball. Has picked up the dribble, needs some help. Out front to Kirk. Kirk has really become good at just taking that ball right to the middle of the lane. Here's Koonsman, shot off the mark. Stevens, another rebound. He'll bring it toward the front court himself. Dribble drive in, good pass down low. Off the window and in for two to Ramsey Fry. And the Suns are within four. 15-11, 6-10 to play in the second quarter on the Trash Queen scoreboard. 4-0 run right now for Southeastern. You know, if Jackson Freeman could have just stood in there, he'd have gotten a charge against Stevens after he passed it off. That's something to watch. Here's Miller with it on the wing. Finds Kirk. Drives past Rigg. Gets to the rim. Blocked again by Stevens. Kirk gets the rebound, though. Into Lothridge, whose turnaround shot from six is good. Ethan Lothridge with four points in the early going. and makes it 17-11 Tornadoes. Rigg with it in the backcourt. He's just a youngster, isn't he? Yes, he is. Off to Heaton, Freshman. dribble drive in, off the bottom of the rim on the miss, and the rebound to Miller. His first. Gets it to Koonsman, he'll attack, now to Lothridge. To Koonsman on the wing, left side. Dribble drive in, little floater up. Good body control, got squared and scores again. Six for him. 19-11 Tornadoes, they stretch it back to eight with back-to-back -back baskets. 4 will run on each side now. Fry with it there. He'll work it near the sideline to Rigg. Quick pass is going to be corralled by Stevens. Off to Rigg. To Fry out front. Just over five minutes to play in the half. Here's a pass tipped out of bounds by an active Cash Kirk. And with exactly five minutes remaining, they will not take the mask break until it's under five. That's right. Seconds away. Fry with it out front. Works on the swing to Heaton for a three. Good. Jarek Heaton with the tray to make it 19-14. And stops the 4-0 run by the Tornadoes. Heaton's got five. Koonsman with the ball finds Freeman out front. He'll try the back door down to Kirk. Ball behind him, stolen away by Stevens. Stevens on the run, one on three into the front court. He'll fire at three off the dribble. Good from downtown, Danny Stevens. They say two. Call it a two, makes it 19-16, correct? He's got nine, that's correct. Down to a three-point game. So they call that a two-pointer, so 19-16. The board hasn't caught that yet. 4-17 to play in the half. Here's Koonsman with it. Free throw line, Lothridge took his eye off of it for a moment. Runs it back down to Koonsman on the right side. Long skip pass to Freeman. 19-16, the lead for the Tornadoes. Koonsman with the spin. Turnaround shot is no good. And on the rebound, Koonsman tipped it. Kirk grabs it, puts it up, and scores. Kirk's got another two, give him nine. 21-16 with 3.50 to play in the half. Had a long little run here without a stoppage. Into the front court with it is Heaton, into Stevens. Spin move down there, patient up under and no good, but he's fouled and he will shoot two shots. Stevens uh, got that long extra step, but he can do that. Bright shoes with Koonsman and Stevens. They all almost look like twins from the socks down, correct? You see, uh, Jackson Freeman replayed that trip to the basket there.
two pirouettes, and uh, he thought it might have been a travel two. 3.41 to play in the half. 21-16 is the advantage for the Tornadoes on top of the Suns. We're back after this. Don Yu would like to thank everyone in our community for your support in the past 15 years. We have over 1,400 square foot of retail space with spirit wear for Unity Mustangs, Liberty Eagles, Brown County Hornets, and our hometown Central Panthers. Businesses, let us help you promote your brand. Decoration methods we offer include screen printing, embroidery, and laser engraving. We are excited to now offer lasered hat patches. With limitations on attendance to local sporting events, we are excited to help bring you this game. Pressure's on you, 506 Westwood, Camp Point, Illinois. PCRE Real Estate and Auction is your number one resource for buying or selling real estate in West Central Illinois. With two office locations, one in Pike County and the other in Calhoun County, PCRE Real Estate and Auction is the place to go when you're looking to buy or sell farmland, recreational and hunting land, residential or commercial property. See our current listings at PCRERealEstate.com or call us at 217-285-5800 for PCRE Real Estate and Auction. 341 left in the quarter, second quarter play. It's 21-16. They got it corrected. Officials had it the whole time, but you got to get a stoppage to make it uh, happen. Stevens with nine on the day. Koonsman with nine on the other, or Koonsman with six, and Kirsch with, Kirk with nine on the other side. Oh, yeah. 341 left in the half. Easy for you to say, right? Difficultly easy. We're ready to get back to action. Stevens to the free throw line, excuse me. He'll shoot a pair, 21-16, and he's pretty good there most of the time and misses another one. Two in a row he's missed now. Damon Emmerich at Great Rivers Bank is here to help you with your auto residential and commercial loan needs. Call Damon Emmerich, 217-285-4404. Come on, Danny. Grandma Beth is counting on you to make this one. Second one up. Good. Nice job. Stevens in double figures with 10. He's done that a lot of times in a row. 21-17. Quickly into the front court come the Tornadoes. Lothridge with a fake pass <laughs> and then goes up with the. He's got six. That was cute. He, he fooled everybody that time, including Stevens. He thought he had passed the ball off, and Lothridge showing he's pretty crafty there. A little globetrotter move, actually. Mark that down as a play that you'll uh, want to go back and see on the replay. And now a reach-in foul called from behind on Jackson. Freeman. Well, Freeman would have got the solo tackle on that one. His first team third. This play by Lothridge down here, though. <laughs> he faked, he faked. He's like, Stevens didn't block my shot this time. He said, I'll just fake a pass. And as he did, Stevens turned away just long enough. And he goes, still got it. <laughs> shot the two. Gotcha. That's the one you don't uh, you don't learn by not playing, you know. You can watch that back on Central Illinois Sports. Here's a lob right? down low, knocked out by Cash Kirk. What I'm saying is, though, some of your best moves you can learn on the playground. What, if we knew what minute mark we were on, we could tell people to go back later and watch About that. the 321 mark of the second quarter is when it happened. Yeah. Here's a pass out front to Heaton. Near the sideline right side, Fry. 23-17, Tornadoes on top. Fry on the drive, floater across the lane, no good. And Cash Kirk has the rebound. Nice job by Kirk, his second board of the night, one on each side. He'll get the ball yeah. to Koonsman, who will bring it across. With three, or check that 240 to play in the half. Here's Koonsman, tucks it and drives, puts up a shot. It's good, man. He's, he's strong, isn't he? Dribble. He's got eight. Yeah, remember I talk, talked about his arms in Menden. He kind of liked that. He said, be sure to tell the girls I got those big arms. 25-17. Here's a dribble drive into the front court by Heaton. <laughs> he said it very quietly, but it was funny. Right side, Heaton tries the three. It's off the mark. Rebound. Rig runs it down, but is it off of him out of bounds? No, it'll stay with the Suns. I thought it was dangerous that he let it go because I thought maybe he did make last contact, but he fooled everybody too. I've always been uh, one to believe that the chance it comes, you can just grab the ball. You might as well just grab it. Yeah, don't let anybody else determine your fate. Heaton with it out front, works off the screen from Rigg. He's going to fire up a three-point shot, no good. And Stevens tries to save it in bounds, goes into the bleachers, and Cash Kirk comes away with it for the Tornadoes, his third. A very weather-related game, the Suns and Tornadoes. Here's Koonsman to the glass. Shot no good, but foul, and he'll shoot two shots. He's cat quick, is he not? You know, Wade Smith that played for Pittsfield and uh, Tate Koonsman kind of remind me of each other with their quickness. Koonsman may be a little better shooter and probably a little bit more handsome, I think, too. A lot more hair. Yeah, 155 left in the half, 25-17. Kirk's 
Or Kuzman's first one's up and good. He's got nine. We're going to let Twine located just north of Pittsfield across from the airport, your local headquarters for concrete lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, and lots more. Stop by and see them and the wide selection of items they have for you, 285-5013. Ties their biggest lead of the night. Back to 10-point lead. Yeah, it looked like Southeastern was going to come right back into this one, but the Tornadoes have never panicked. This junior's got 10 also. Now an offensive foul against Heaton. Yep, he got into a double team, and he shoved off, and Jackson Freeman drew the charge. Turnover number seven, second foul on Heaton on the day. And the Tornadoes will shoot for their largest lead of the afternoon. A 10-point lead with 1.44 to play in the second quarter. Here's Koonsman on the drive. Kicks to Freeman. Fakes the three. Over to Miller. He'll fire away from downtown. No good. Rebound tip, and it comes to Rigg. Into the front court. Finds Heaton. What a catch. Drives inside. Back to Rigg. Top of the key. Stevens for the three. No good. Rebound underneath is pulled in by Heaton. He'll put it up. Won't fall. But he'll shoot two shots. Heaton will go to the free throw line. And it's a 27-17 game, 124 left in the half on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Turn my headset volume up just a tad, would you please? Southeastern's going to bring everybody away from the free throw line. And it's up and good. That is by Heaton. Heaton has six on the day now. Makes it 27-18. He'll get another with no teammates around him. They got confidence in his ability to make free throws. He misses the second. Rebound to Kirk. Hits fifth. Well, he had confidence until you jinxed him. I do that sometimes. Twice, twice in this game that I can remember, but who's counting? Yeah. 1.15 to play in the half. 27-18 the advantage for the Tornadoes. Skip pass across Lothridge. He'll fire from downtown. Won't fall. Rebound. Miller's there to clean up the glass. Won't get it to fall. Kirk with a put back. And if you don't first succeed, try, try, try again. And Kirk puts it in to make it an 11-point Tornado advantage. His sixth rebound of the day and three of them on the offensive side. Rig with the ball, under a minute to play in the half. An 11-point lead for the Tornadoes, largest of the day. Here's Heaton for a three, no good. Rebound down to Rig, fakes, tries to go up with it, won't fall. Stevens with the offensive rebound. His turnaround shot is good as he got it to go. He's got 12, and it's been hard work for him, though. 29-20 with 30 seconds left. On the Trash Queen scoreboard, we'll have the Gardens Communication halftime show coming up for you in well, about 20 seconds or so. Out front with it is Koonsman for the Tornadoes. They stack it up here, does Grigsville Perry. Out near the half court center circle to Miller. Miller on the dribble drive, has fake, now finds Freeman. Freeman will attack down though, blocked by Stevens. This shot now blocked by Kirk. Rebound down to the Suns into the front court. Heaton off balance shot at the buzzer, no good. And we've reached halftime, it's 29-20. Briggsville Perry has the advantage on top of the Southeastern Suns as you watch high school basketball action on Central Illinois Sports. Nothing in life is free. Well, we're here to tell you they're wrong. Because when you switch to U.S. Cellular, you can get the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G for free with no hidden requirements. That's right. The Samsung Galaxy S21 5G has launched and you can get it for free with no hidden requirements. U.S. Cellular. Terms and conditions apply. See store uscellular.com for details. Cards Communications, your local U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street in Pittsfield. Call 285-5400 for Cards Communication. When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies focus on your income. At Northwestern Mutual, we focus on your outcome. That's why we know what it takes to succeed both on your balance sheet and in your life. It takes the right financial partner who looks at where you are now and where you want to go and design a financial plan to take you there so you can achieve the life you're after today and every day after. Focus on your financial outcome with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Don Kirk or Sheila Davidsmeyer today at 217-285-4014. The Northwestern Mutual Life Insurance Company, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can plan for most things in your life, but being sick isn't one of them. That's why Illini Express has expanded hours so your family can get the care you require. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Illini Express can see patients 18 months and older, no appointment necessary. When you can't wait to feel better, Illini Express is here for you. Located on the square in Pittsfield. Learn more at IlliniHospital.org. 
Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at gobestsystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. Carnes Communication, your U.S. Cellular agent on the corner of Jackson and Washington Street, 285-5400 for all your U.S. Cellular phones and accessories. Carnes Communication in Pittsville. That's our halftime sponsor. It's 29-20 to in favor of Grigsville Perry. Looking for their sixth win of the season to move to the 6-0. and They've turned it over eight times in the first half and Southeastern seven times in the first half. Three on Eli Leesman for Southeastern, two on Heaton, Jerry Keaton, and two on Ramsey Fry. A single foul on, nope, Danny Stevens, I don't think has a foul in the first half. I think I made a mistake there. Two on Avery Bradshaw, who set most of the first half, and Jackson Freeman has one, and that's all three fouls against Grigsville Perry. Grigsville Perry led it 15-9 after one quarter, 29-20 at halftime. They've led by as much as 11. We'll take a break, talk about individual scoring, shooting percentages, and more on the Kearns Communication U.S. Cellular Halftime Show on Central Illinois Sports. With all the financial headlines, are you wondering if your retirement savings will last? The market's ups and downs can keep you guessing, especially if you're approaching retirement or considering it. Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help. If you have more questions than answers about what's next, you can work together to help ensure you're prepared for your journey. After all, retirement isn't the end of the trek, it's the new beginning. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investments, member SIPC. Western Illinois Fellowship of Christian Athletes offers support to our coaches, teachers, and athletes. Our mission is to help each grow in a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Western Illinois FCA invites you to go to westernilfca.org to find out more or to join us as a financial partner. Look for some great events coming up in May, banquets in Jacksonville and Quincy, and the Million Dollar Golf Shot too. Western Illinois FCA, working for you. It's time for you to find out the difference that thousands have found with Westtown Ford in Jacksonville. If you're looking for a new Ford, Lincoln, or maybe a used car truck or SUV, why don't you take the short drive to Jacksonville, Illinois, Westtown Ford. They have the best sales and service in the area, and what a selection, thousands to choose from. It's Westtown Ford in Jacksonville, 30 minutes from high prices. Phone 217-245-7101 or go to westtownford.com. Com. Damon Plumbing, serving all of Pike County and the surrounding area with quality residential and commercial plumbing services. Damon Plumbing offers septic installation, drain cleaning, new water lines, remodel work for your home, or if you're planning a new build, make sure you include the Damon guys to get it right the first time. No job too big. Have you seen Brayton and Doug? Or too small? Sorry, Corby, we couldn't resist. Call Brayton today at 217-491-5415 or Doug at 217-617-2318. Damon Plumbing, recommended by our family for your family. Welcome back on the Carnes Communication USA pre, or, blah, ta, Halftime Show. It's Carnes Communication, our halftime sponsor. Don't forget about the Moose Lodge 420, proud supporters of our community organizations and activities. They've got great food every Friday night, specials there. The food's hot, drinks are cold at the Moose Lodge. You need a coat, stop by the Moose Lodge out on the rack and help yourself. 8 of 26 for Southeastern in the first half, 30.7%, but they shot 10 three-pointers, only made one. So they're actually eight of, of, or 7 of 16 from the field other than the three-pointers. 3 of 6 from the free-throw line. Danny Stevens led the way with 12 points and five or six rebounds in the first half. Heaton came in and scored six points. Two for Fry in the first half for Southeastern in their total of 20. Griggsville Perry, 11 points from Cash Kirk, 10 from Tate Koonsman. That's 21 of the points. Lothridge added six and two points from Jackson Freeman for their total of 29. They were 12 of 26 from the field. 46% have not made a three yet, and they're five to six from the free throw line. They lead it 29 to 26 here at halftime. Gives us a chance to tell you about the Tyrell 
Ty Rylander Run and Walk Virtual Event Registration through the 20th of February. They'll hold the event the 20th through the 31st of March virtually. Make it the best ever for the Ty Rylander Run. Go to the Facebook page to register today. 29-20, halftime lead for GP. Looking for their sixth win of the season. We'll take a break. Come back with more after these. You hear Pike County Glass, what do you think of? Is it storm window and screen repair? Commercial doors, windows and storefronts. Maybe it's auto glass repair, including windshields, rock chip repair, side glass and back glass. Or it could be screen and porches, glass showers and doors, and, well, you get the point. Glass is in their name, and glass is what they do. Pike County Glass, serving the entire area with high-quality craftsmanship, products, and customer service that's second to none. You'll find Pike County Glass at 1071 West Washington Street in Pittsfield. Or call them at 217-285-4200. Seven five. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at gobestsystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. If your job situation is changing because of layoffs or restructuring, you may have to make several decisions. One important decision may be what to do with your retirement plan. Make sure your retirement stays on track. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, can help. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street in Quincy, Illinois. Edward Jones, making sense of investing member SIPC. Hometown Real Estate offers residential buying and selling specialists as well as land specialists across the Midwest. Call our office at 217-285-4502 or call Kate Marable at 217-370-9809. Speak to any of the hometown brokers for residential and commercial properties. Kate hopes you are enjoying the broadcast of our local teens enjoying their sports. Give Kate Marable a call at 217-370-9809. Hometown Real Estate for you. It'll be Grigsville Perry basketball as we get ready for the second half. Brought to you by Real Net and Twine, located just north of Pittsfield across from the airport. Real Net and Twine, your local headquarters for concrete lawn ornaments, statues, fountains, and so much more. See Rick, Tracy, and the gang, 285 5013 is their phone number. Real Net and Twine, the orangutan out front. The Tornadoes will have the basketball to start the second half. Bradshaw, Coonsman, Freeman. Lothridge and Kirk, their original starters, are out there to start this second half of play. Lothridge with it over on the right wing. That's Koonsman on the dribble. He's tripped up and fouled by Heaton. Heaton's going to pick up a foul, and that's going to be his third. His team's first of the second half, so Leesman and Heaton both with three fouls. You know, Jack, they actually called that on Fry? Well, Fry will pick up his third instead. Hmm. I wouldn't have guessed that one. Me neither. Obviously. Koonsman with it over to Kirk. I wouldn't have went through all that if I thought that. Tries the dribble drive, gets in, and scores two more. Kirk kind of used the body to keep the man off him. He's got 13. 31-20, the lead for the Tornadoes. Ties their largest lead of the contest on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Fry into the front court to Rig, not a Stevens, and he's fouled by Avery Bradshaw. Bradshaw is going to pick up his third. And I'll tell you, Stevens was almost called for a travel there. As Bradshaw kind of caught him by surprise, but instead the foul on Bradshaw, he'll sit down quickly, and here comes Miller back in the game. Third foul on Bradshaw on the day. Pass comes in out front to Heaton for the Suns. Ooh, they've got the lob open, didn't get it to him in time. Across it goes and out of bounds it goes. Saved in by Rigg down to Lease, but now he's got it knocked loose and Kirk is going to touch it last. So it'll stay with the Suns underneath. Never did get it up on the board, but I'm sure I have Bradshaw for three. Throwing it in here. Heaton gets it in the corner. He'll shoot a three. It's no good. Rebound is down to Cash Kirk. He'll dribble through some uh, traffic. Now leave it behind for Koonsman who will take it across the half-court line, shooting for their largest lead of the day is Grigsville Perry, up by 11. With three has not been the Suns, friend. And now Lothridge traveled. He did. He just kind of took a couple steps with it. He had a turnover on the Tornadoes. Nine for them now. Seven on the Suns. Into the front court, Heaton with the basketball. He'll leave it out front to Fry. Over to Heaton. 
Back out front, Fry. Stevens looking for position down low. Now out front, Ramsey Fry gets it back. He'll shoot a three. He says, what were you singing about the three-point shot? He's got five. 31-23. Their second of the day in 12 attempts. It's not a very good percentage, is it? Two of 12? No. It's about one of six. If you break it down, here's Miller. He says, how about your three? Here's mine. He's got his first three of the game. Answered. 34-23. Back out to that 11-point advantage. Into the front court, Heaton with the ball for the Suns. Guarded by Freeman near the sideline. Freeman's got him pinned there. Dangerous pass finds Rigg to Leesman at the free throw line. He'll have it poked free for a moment. Runs it down, finds Fry. Fry from the free throw line. It's good. He's speeding up a little bit. Fry's got seven. 34 25, down to a nine point lead with 540 to play in this third quarter. They still need to focus on getting the ball to Stevens. He hadn't touched it yet in the half. No, he hadn't. Miller with the basketball. Toward the top of the key, has picked it up near the sideline right side, Koonsman. Off in the corner, it goes to Freeman. Throws a pass that's tipped, then run down by Cash Kirk. I think he kind of got hit in the face, didn't Kirk's he? Kirk's always around the ball. Freeman with it. Puts it on the deck against Fry. Close to five. Now he breaks the five count on the drive. Puts up a shot, no good. And Stevens has the rebound. He'll bring it into the front court. Crosses over, gets to the rim. Runner up, no good. Foul, then Lothridge will pick up the foul. Freeman will go, or uh, Stevens will go to the free throw line. Lothridge will pick up his first foul of the game, I do believe. Second team foul. Yeah, we're looking. That's correct. It's on Lothridge. Yeah, they're just not putting the individual ones up there for some reason right now. There they do. 5.06 left in the quarter. 34-25, I should say. Make it 26. Stevens makes his 13th point of the day. Pike County Concrete, if you need concrete for your next job or project, give Pike County Concrete a call, 285-5548, with locations in Pittsfield and Jacksonville to better serve your needs. Second one up, also good by Stevens. He's made four out of six on the day and has 14 points. 34-27, the Tornado's lead is seven, with five minutes to play in the third on the Trash Queen scoreboard. 3-2-0, 43-20 for Trash Queen. Here's Kirk. He's looking to get free. Now throws it out front to Freeman. Freeman to Koonsman near the half-court line here at the Southeastern High School Gymnasium. Ooh, there was Kirk open right at the last second. They didn't get it to him. Now he'll pop out all the way around on the left-hand side. Had the ball knocked free, and they'll say he touched it last. And a turnover on the Tornadoes. Ten on the day for them. That's more than they usually have by yep. quite a bit. I would say so. 434 to play in the third. 34-27. The advantage for Grigsville Perry. We're back after this. Dear Western Grain Service is your progressive feed and grain resource for Western Illinois. They offer a full range of feed products for all species and many grain merchandising opportunities with locations in Golden, Paloma, Mount Sterling, Clayton, La Prairie, Liberty, Industry, Carthage, and Blandonsville. For more information, call Deer Wester Grain Services, 696-4461. That's 696-4461 or on the web at DeerWesterGrain.com. Welcome to West Town Ford, serving Central and West Central Illinois. When you're shopping for a new vehicle, we believe you need a comfortable ambiance, dynamic selection of vehicles, competitive options for financing, and high quality service to feel confident and stress-free throughout the car buying process. At West Town Ford, you will find just that, a great selection of Ford models and a team that will make the process as smooth as possible. West Town Ford Lincoln in Jacksonville, just 30 minutes away from high prices. 34-27, and Southeastern's fought back and got it to seven, and they had the basketball. Trying to make a game of it right here. Full court pressure by GP. Rig to Ramsey. Now they'll get it in the corner to Heaton, across to Rig. There's a bounce pass stolen away by Lothridge. Eighth turnover, first of the second half. Lothridge coast to coast, layup good. Nobody stopped his dribble. He's got eight. 36-27 with 4.13 to play in the half. Here's Stevens. He drives the lane and is going to be fouled on the floor by Lothridge, I oh, believe. The referee here had a charge. He put the hand on the back, and that's what he's going to call. Stevens is going to pick up the foul. It'll be the offensive foul against Stevens. Nine-team uh, turnover. 
Stevens will pick up his second foul. And uh, the other referee was waiting for him to make a call, and this one secured his call and then went over and made it. So a nine-point lead, and now the basketball for Grigsville Perry. Big call. 4.04 to play in the third. On the wing with it is Kirk to Koonsman. Over to Miller. Miller back to Koonsman. He'll put it on the floor. Now he has Stevens come out to guard him. He goes to Freeman on the wing. Miller to Koonsman way out front. Back to Miller right side. Doesn't have a chance to shoot the three. Had the ball knocked free for a moment, but gets it back. Now it's tipped up for grabs, and Cash Kirk goes to get it. He's just always right on the spot. Like you said, now he'll drive in. Blocked out of bounds again by Stevens. Third block by Stevens on the day. He's got five boards, 14 points, three blocks. Inbounds pass will come into Koonsman on the right side. Looking for an opening here. Up by nine are the Tornadoes. They've led throughout this contest. Steven doesn't hang around under the basket, but he's quick to get down to where he needs to, isn't he? Out with it is Miller. Looks for an opening. Out top to Lothridge. Fakes now drives. Little floater up, no good. Rebound to Rigg. The freshman pulls down another one. Gets it to Fry. Fry on the dribble. Over to Rigg. Bounce pass Heaton. Looks for an opening. Out top Fry. He'll pass it over on the wing to Rigg. Long skip pass. We'll find Heaton on the right side of things. Free throw line, Leesman. His shot is good. Eli Leesman's got his first two. And makes it 36-29, but that's really about as close as Southeastern has gotten in this contest since the first quarter. Koonsman now kicks to the corner. Freeman for a three. It's off the side of the backboard. Saves the rebound into Rigg. Off to Stevens. Here he comes into the front court, and he'll get tripped up and fouled. It'll be ball to bounds to the Suns underneath. And the foul on GP. Here comes Bradshaw back into the game. They got that foul on Kirk. That'll be his second, they say. I just had him for one. You were half right. Leesman gets, it. Leesman gets it on the inbounds. Over to Heaton. Now in the short corner, they find Fry. His shot is too short. He's going to get a board, though. Ooh, Bradshaw nearly picked up his fourth. He was... All over him there. Fry goes and gets it at the top of the key. 214 left in this third quarter. Over on the right side, Rigg. He'll throw the long skip pass over to Heaton. Dribble drive carried it. And a turnover on the Suns. Their 10th of the day. 10 on both sides now. 207 left third quarter. 36-29 in favor of Grigsville Perry. Every time the Suns gets a ch get a chance to cut into that seven point lead, they just haven't been able to do it. Bradshaw will throw it out to Kirk. Freeman looks down on the post now to Lothridge. Goes up and under. Missed the shot. Rebound to Leesman. Gets it to Stevens. Stevens on the run into the front court. Shovels it forward to Heaton. To Leesman at the free throw line. Back out to Fry for a three. Rattles in and out. No good. And Koonspin has the board for the Tornadoes. He then loses the ball out of bounds as he went to cross over. And the ball just didn't come with him. And a turnover the 11th on the Tornadoes. Hadn't been very clean on the floor for them today, but part of that Southeastern's got active hands. They're doing a lot of swatting out there. Hard fought game. Not sure where the ball is out underneath right here. Inbounds comes into Stevens, just inside the arc, no good. And the rebound again to Koonsman. He'll work it toward the front court for the Tornadoes. 128 to play in the third. Cash Kirk. Out to Bradshaw for the left-handed three. Too hard. Rebound. Cash Kirk goes and gets another board. Now he's tied up. And it'll be a jump ball, and it will be Southeastern basketball on the alternating possession arrow. Kirk picked up his fifth board of the day. And he kind of took the ball to the waist, and Leesman and Heaton were all over it, so that's a turnover. Twelve turnovers now on GP. Heaton with the ball into the front court. Works out front to Fry. Dangerous place if Southeastern could get the ball to Stevens. You got to give Lotheridge a lot of credit down low in that zone. He's not letting him get very many touches. Here's a drive in by Fry, no good. Rebound to Stevens, won't fall. Gets his own board again, puts it up. Missed the shot, but he's fouled, and he'll shoot two. Stevens will pick up the offensive board. Then he'll go to the free throw line to shoot a pair. Stevens on the day has been to the free throw line six times. He's made four out of six. <clears throat> Has 14 points. Foul goes against Bradshaw, his fourth. 
Miller waits to come in after the first free throw. 101 left in the quarter, and Stevens makes the first, makes it 36 30. Moose Lodge 420, check out their Friday meals, new specials each week. The food's hot, the drinks are cold. At Moose Lodge 420 in Pittsfield. Second one up. It's good by Stevens. He's got 16. 36 31. As close as Southeastern has been since the first quarter, under a minute to play in the third. I think Coach wanted Bradshaw to shoot that three, and then he was frustrated and committed the foul. Koonsman with it. Grigsville Perry appears to gonna play the patient game here up by five with the possession. They'll stack it up and run some clock. The possession error right now does favor the Tornadoes if they are able to prevent a tie-up here in the next 35 seconds. He about had another steal there. Kirk with it, tries the drive, throws it way out near the half-court line to Koonsman. Under 30 to play in the third. 36-31, the advantage for the Tornadoes on the Trash Queen scoreboard. They've led throughout this one, looking to add to their advantage in the waning moments of this third quarter. Koonsman still on the dribble against Fry out front, not closely guarded. Now to Kirk, left side, 10 seconds. A little pick and roll action with Lothridge. Ball tipped by Stevens, right back at Kirk. Drive, so Lothridge in the corner for three, no good. Leesman skies high for the board to Fry, who will throw one up at the buzzer. It's good, but it is after the buzzer, so that three-quarter court shot will not count. And we have played three quarters. It's 36-31. Grigsville Perry has the lead. Fourth quarter play-by-play -play your way after this. Welcome to the city of Pittsfield, a great place to call home or a great place to visit as a home away from home. Visit the beautiful downtown area with the Pike County Courthouse and many businesses and restaurants to enjoy. Then check out the Pittsfield City Lake, a great place for boating, fishing, and camping. And new to the lake this year, a disc golf course. Learn more about all that the city of Pittsfield has to offer by visiting their website, pittsfieldil.org. The city of Pittsfield and Mayor John Hayden wish the Sockies good luck this season. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of the time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones financial advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. For all your investment needs, call Derek Harris at 217-222-7173 or stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investing, member SIPC. Southeastern 11 of 34, 32%, just 2 of 12 from the arc, 7 of 10 from the free throw line. Uh, GP 15 of 36, 41%, 1 of 8 from the arc, and 5 of 6 from the free throw line. Both good free throw shooting teams. Three pointers haven't been their friends. 36 31 GP, and they'll have the basketball. They'd have counted that, and we'd had a two point game, but it was behind the or after the buzzer. It was for sure. Here's Freeman with it on the right wing for the Tornadoes. Freeman, Kirk, Miller. Lotheridge and Coons, but here's the ball tipped out of bounds by the active hands of Ramsey Fry for Southeastern. It'll be Tornado Ball on the sideline just in the front court. Heaton and Leesman are very quick out front, and if you make a lazy pass, they're going to steal it. That's why GP's turned it over 12 times. A near turnover, and it is. Fry with the steal. He'll put it up and in, and this is a three-point game. 13 turnovers. 36-33 on the Trash Queen scoreboard. 7.34 to play. Fry's got nine. A lot more lower scoring than Grigsville Perry would like. And really Southeastern style. Here's Kirk now. Might have got away with steps. They say the ball was tied up. That's why he wasn't able to uh, be called for a travel. Here's Kirk. Turnaround shot. Nope. He's going to not shoot it. Tried to pass it out and is fouled by Rigg. Rigg, the freshman, will pick up the foul. That'll be his first of the day. Fourth team foul already. Two in a row here real quick. Not really a lot of fouls, just a couple quick whistles. Inbounds pass, not going to happen, and a timeout called for Garrett White of Grigsville Perry. 7-18 to play in the contest. It's 36-33, Tornadoes with a three-point lead. They'll have the basketball when we come back. Did you know that PCRE Real Estate and Auction now offers a full-service auction alternative? Farmland, residential real estate, commercial real estate, estates, guns, antiques, farm equipment, and commercial equipment are a few examples that the experienced auction team is ready to assist you with. Our team can make the auction experience less stressful and smooth. Check out our next auctions at our new auction location at 500 Piper Lane in Pittsfield or call 217-430-2985 and speak with Jason Duke to learn more. 
When it comes to financial planning, most financial companies ask, what's your salary? At Northwestern Mutual, we asked, what's your story? We know building the right financial plan means looking at more than money. That's why we start by asking the right questions, listening to what matters most to you, then guiding you every step of the way to help you live the life you want, now and years from now. Plan your financial story with Northwestern Mutual. Contact Don Kirk or Sheila Davidsmeyer today at 217-285-4014. 718 left in the ball game. GP calls the timeout. They're up by three. Pass on the right side. Miller over to Kirk. Kirk has picked up the dribble. He and Miller, a little two-man game in the corner. Now the ball knocked free. It's tied up. Nope, they're going to call a foul. So it's stolen away by Heaton, and then he's fouled by Miller. 14 turnover on GP. Miller picked up the foul after he got his pocket picked by Heaton. Fourth. Fifth team foul, they say, on Greensville Perry. Three-point game and a three-pointer to tie us up. But they haven't had a lot of luck there. They're two of 12 from there. There's an, ooh, I thought that was an illegal screen. Instead, it's a travel going to be called as Jace Heaton goes to the floor. And a turnover on the Suns is their 11th. Coach Epkus is out on the floor demonstrating what he wanted his player to do. Greensville Perry with the basketball up by three, under seven minutes to play in the contest. Suns are 1-1, one 5-0 one, oh for GP. Coons been with it on the dribble. He'll try the pull-up jump shot. It's no good. Rebound down to Fry. He'll push it ahead for the Suns. Into the corner. Rig thought about the three. Turns it down. Off to Stevens. Stevens turns and faces against Koonsman. Down to Leesman. Leesman drives the baseline up under and in for two, and it's a one-point game. He's got four. 36-35, 6.29 to play. We thought it'd be a good one. Thought maybe there'd be more points in this. So. Here's a pass. Koonsman to Freeman. Back to Koonsman now on the wing. He'll pull it toward the top of the key on the dribble. We've seen some low scoring games here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say the score, the, the total score is in favor of Southeastern. Here's Kirk, and he gets to the rim again. He's got 15. He went up strong. 38 35, six minutes remaining. When his team needed it, there he came. Heaton has picked it up to Fry, top of the key. Lob down low, Stevens. He's got to throw it back out to Rig on a dangerous pass. Now to Ramsey Fry, drives the lane, runner up no good. Leesman saves it in bounds, and it comes away to Aaron Miller. Into the front court, Koonsman on the run out. He'll shoot it over the front of the rim and in for two. Koonsman's got 12. Makes it a five point lead again for the Tornadoes. 40 35. 5.30 to play. For Southeastern, you kind of lose a little wind with that right there. Here's Eli Leesman, and he'll be fouled by Lothridge. Lothridge second, team six, one and one the rest of the way for Southeastern. 40 to 35 is the lead for Grigsville Perry. Inbounds pass comes to Heaton. He'll fake the three into a double team. Throws out of it to Stevens on the right wing. Stevens on the dribble drive and is fouled on the floor. On the floor, it'll go against GP. Should be one and one, correct? Yep, that'll go against Miller. That'll be his second, seventh team foul. Put Stevens back to the free throw line where he has made six out of eight and actually has made five in a row. 40-35, 17 left. The sophomore Stevens puts the first one up. It's good. He's got 17. Six in a row for him now. 40-36, a four-point game. Second one up by Stevens, also good. Three-point game now. 40-37, 5-17 left. Koonsman will walk it up for Grigsville Perry. Against the man-to-man -man of Ramsey Fry. Still on the dribble is Koonsman, looking to break his man down. Now to Kirk. Kirk on the dribble, throws it back out to Miller, thought about the three. Now puts it on the deck, hands it off to Lothridge as they run the little weave out front. Lothridge looks for an opening, tries to get free of Stevens to Koonsman in the corner. He'll put it on the deck, step inside the arc, shoot it over the top of the outstretched arm, and on the rebound, Freeman will have it tipped all the way back out to him. Now Koonsman with the ball, gets free, drives in, and a blocking foul, out the basket! He got it to go! I think they're going to count it. They will. Koonsman with another. He's got 14. He'll get the and one. Or well, he's two for three from there. Leesman picks up his fourth foul. And a timeout for 
Southeastern. We'll take it to 440 to play in the contest. 42-37, the advantage for the Tornadoes back after this. I'm Gary Mendenhall. I am running for mayor because I believe in the future of Pittsfield and its citizens. We have the potential to thrive economically and safely in a state where the outlook appears tough. Let's prosper and grow as a community through job creation, tourism, and recreation. We are neighbors and friends who care, love, support, and stand up together. On April 6th, vote Gary Mendenhall for mayor of Pittsfield. Are you searching for some meaning in life? Are you searching for a loving place to be accepted? If so, we would love for you to join us to take the next step in your life's journey together with us at Pittsfield Church of the Nazarene. Here at PCN, we're a group of real people looking to build real relationships as we journey together to experience real encounters with God. Join us online or in person at 227 West Washington in Pittsfield, Sunday mornings at 10 a.m., online on our Facebook page or YouTube channel. Five-point game after Koonsman will, uh, before Koonsman will go up with the and one. Leesman picks up his fourth foul of the night. 42-37 in favor of Grigsville Perry. Southeastern called the timeout. We're just under five minutes, 440 left. And uh, to me, that could have been the mass timeout and not charged to Southeastern. We'll see how that works out. But here comes Koonsman, the junior, to the free throw line. Now Koonsman with uh, 14 points, looking to tie Cash Kirk with 15 apiece if he can make this and open this back up to a six-point game after Southeastern had cut it to one. Tate Koonsman puts it up, and it's good. 43-37, a six-point advantage with 439 to play. Stevens with the ball in the backcourt. He'll work it across. It comes to Heaton, now Fry. Fry on the dribble drive, gets to the rim, shot up no good. Stevens with the rebound, his own man knocked it away from him. And the ball goes out of bounds, last touched by Jackson Freeman, says the official. Stevens had it, but Leesman was fighting for it too, knocked it away. Suns ball on the sideline. Ramsey Fry to throw it in. You get it right back from Rigg. Fry will work the dribble. Over on the left side of things, it goes to Heaton. Out top, Fry. Down by six are the Suns. Top of the key, Stevens fakes the three. Dishes it off to Heaton. He'll let it fly from downtown, and it rattles home. Finally got one of those to fall. 43-40. Three-point game with four minutes to play. Koonsman with the basketball on the dribble. He'll work it off to Cash Kirk. Ball is knocked away by Rigg and stolen away. Rigg behind the back to the rim. No good, but he's hammered by Kirk. And the little freshman that could that time with a big play. He'll look for his first points of the night. Will Owen Rigg. Big steal. Turnover number 15 on GP. And Southeastern now is 9 of 12 from the free throw line. They're down by three. First one up by Rigg. Too long. LSSD Trucking and 3D Leasing for all of your trucking and hauling needs. See the Dunham boys and their professional team. 217-285-28. Zero eight. Bradshaw back in the game. Miller sits down. Bradshaw playing with four, as is Leesman for Southeastern. Riggs' second one is good. 43-41, a two-point game, 349 remaining. Grigsville Perry having trouble taking care of the basketball. Southeastern's been quick to steal it. Coonsman out front to Kirk. Kirk looked for the back door, wasn't open. Tries the drive against Rig. Cut off there, needs some help. Finds... Bradshaw, shot fake, blocked by Leesman. Rebound Kirk, though, and he's fouled by Fry. Leesman was lucky he didn't get the foul, honestly. Fry will pick up the foul because Leesman hacked him. Now, Fry's got, I've got him for four. He may only have three. They call it five. Well, you know, they'd given him a foul earlier, and then they'd given it to somebody else, and that's why I didn't think it was five. And now Southeastern calls. A timeout, 3.30 left, 43-42, Grigsville Perry with the lead. We're back after this. Since 1962, but, Logan Ag has provided customers but, with quality but, products, but, competitive but, prices, and... But what about the new locations, Grampy? What new locations? Well, boys, Logan Ag now has locations in Winchester, Illinois, and in LaBelle, Missouri. So now there are four? I'll be four this year. 
Logan Ag, serving customers in Griggsville and Winchester, Illinois, Paris and LaBelle, Missouri. Our vision for agriculture is 2020. Sharing a big family moment, working hard from home, relaxing with a friend. Welcome to life in the broadband age, where reliable internet has never been more important. Cascop keeps your family connected with consistent speeds up to one gig and Plume Whole Home Adaptive Wi-Fi. Make sure your home's ready for life in the broadband age. Call our local service team or visit us online at cascom.com. Glick in as Ramsey Fry fouls out. It's GP basketball up by two. It's a big time to foul out of the game. I mean, it's all over the five seconds now called out of the timeout. Turnover number 16 on GP, and he got a long five. He caught, I thought GP caught a break for big the next second. Big guy ball. to foul out, though, because he does a bulk of the ball handling, so now they'll have Heaton playing that point. Glick into the front court, Stevens. He'll attack against Lothridge. Pull up shot, good. We're this tied. game's tied at 43. First tie of the day, or second, we're tied at two. 43 all, 315 to play. Now here's the ball out of bounds. Last touch by the Suns. It'll stay with the Tornadoes. Out of bounds underneath their own hoop in the front court. Suns have momentum, but I, they've used a lot of timeouts. Inbounds pass comes in the corner to Lothridge. Looks for an opening. Spins free of the defender. Pull up, jump shot too hard. Rebound down to Rig and over the back was Cash Kirk. Kirk will pick up the foul. That'll be his third. Bonus situation, so Southeastern will come the other way to shoot free throws. Fry has already fouled out of the game. Bradshaw for GP playing with four. Leesman playing with four for the Suns. And the freshman will go back to the free throw line where he's one of two is Owen Rigg. He'll shoot the one and one, tied at 43. We have, we've had one lead change in the game, and now we've had two. Rigg makes it, gives his team a lead. He has two points from the free throw line. 44-43 Southeastern. The Suns rig the freshman. Second one up high, no good. Leachman with the rebound. Put back off the window and in for two and a three-point Suns lead. What a job by Leachman on that. It's their largest lead of the day, this 46-43 advantage. Tornadoes want a timeout. 2.56 left. 46-43, the Suns with the lead. We're back after this. Spring will be here before you know it. Don't let busted screens leave you feeling cooped up when the nice weather arrives. Pike County Glass is your one-stop shop for screen and window repair. From storm window and screen repair to screened in porch installation, Pike County Glass does it all and more. All with high-quality craftsmanship and products, plus customer service that is second to none. Call Pike County Glass at 217-285-4275 or stop by at 1071 West Washington Street in Pittsfield. Pike County Glass, West Central Illinois' glass experts. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville with locations in Griggsville, Mount Sterling, and Pittsfield. Maybe you ask, why choose Farmers National Bank of Griggsville? The answer is simple. Local people, local decisions, and local commitment with local investments. We have many products and services to meet your needs. We invite you to find out more about us. Go to fmbgriggsville.com and explore all the services we offer. Visit any of our three friendly locations in Mount Sterling, Griggsville, and Pittsfield today. The Farmers National Bank of Griggsville, local people helping local people, member FDI. Hey, Southeastern on this break, up 46-43, it'll be GP's basketball. If you're wondering, they've made one three on the day. Ball in the backcourt comes to Koonsman, 2.52 left. He'll bring it across to Kirk on the right side. Against Rig, ball knocked away by Leesman, stolen away. Leesman on the run out into the front court, jump stop, soars, and scores. He's got eight. Southeastern's got the momentum right now. Griggs will parry, needs an answer. Down by five with 235 to play. Out front, Koonsman, a jump shot from the free throw line, and he's cool as the other side of the pillow. 17 for him. 48-45, 225 left. He's the money man when he needs a shot. Here's the ball tipped in the backcourt, stolen away by Bradshaw. He'll attack the rack, shot up no good, blocked out of bounds. No, he caught it himself out of bounds, and just a bad place at the wrong time for Avery Bradshaw for getting the steal. Actually just missed shot and couldn't get the rebound because he was out of bounds, right? Yep. Glick inbounds the ball to Heaton, 2.13 remaining. To Rig, back to Heaton, got to advance the ball to Glick. Close to 10 seconds here into the front court, they get it to Stevens. He'll work it on the wing to Rig. 
A three-point lead and the basketball for Southeastern. Two minutes left on the Trash Queen scoreboard. Stevens. Steve, Stevens never forces much, does he? Not really. He gets a screen from Lee puts up a shot from 17, and it is going to fall. No, it's going to fall off the rim and out of bounds off of Leesman, where it will be Grigsville Perry ball, length of the court to go. Had a pretty good shot, and it bounced a couple times, fell off to the side. Wasn't a bad shot. Maybe he didn't want to take it at that point. I don't know. Koonsman will bring it up. Down by three, 140 left. A spot the Tornadoes have not been in this season is down this late. Here's a pass down low to Bradshaw. Missed the reverse layup. Rebound down to Lees, but now the ball free. Cash Kirk knocked it loose. On the floor, Stevens is after it, as is Kirk and Lothridge. And we've got a timeout granted, I believe, to Southeastern. Let's wait and see what the officials say. They'll get together and say a timeout for the Sun. So they'll save the possession, 129 to play, 48-45. The advantage for Southeastern back after this. In a world that seems to be out of control, your friends at First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, want you to know that the hope of God's love reaches out to you. God loves you, and he has a purpose for your life. If you'd like to learn more about this, we invite you to join us at 8 a.m. or at 1030 on Sunday mornings at 225 North Memorial Street in Pittsfield or online at fccpittsfield.org, our Facebook page, or our YouTube channel. First Christian Church of Pittsfield, Illinois, a safe place to learn and grow. 48-45 in favor of Grigsville Perry. Suns maintain possession after the good timeout. Heaton with it in the backcourt. Throws it over the top to Glick. Ooh, I thought he traveled. I thought he danced. Now to Heaton. Back to Glick. Long skip pass. Dangerous one. Rig is able to secure it. Lothridge backed off or he might have had the steal on that one. Heaton with the ball. Ooh, did he carry it? I thought he had. 105 left, and the ball kicked out of bounds. Freeman trying to do what he could. He got a toe on it. 48-45 is the advantage for Southeastern. They've got the basketball. Up three. They also have the possession error. That timeout was big for that, too, in case there was another tie-up. Inbounds pass is a lob into Stevens. The sophomore puts it on the floor. Kicks it to the wing to Heaton. Under a minute to play in this one in a 48-45 game. Heaton with it on the wing. Down to Stevens. He'll attack down low. Now Leesman at the free throw line. Jump shot. Line drive is an air ball. And out of bounds up onto the stage it comes. 48.6 seconds to play. Griggs will parry down three, but they've got the basketball. Length of the court to go. Koonsman will let it go to the half court line before he picks it up. Has it on the right wing, down by three. It does not mean you need a three here if you're the Tornadoes. Avery Bradshaw with it. Ball is tipped and out of bounds. It'll stay with the Tornadoes. 37.3 seconds remaining. Need Koonsman and Kirk to come up and take care of the basketball now. Out of bounds for GP on the sideline. Pass goes in the backcourt to Tate Koonsman. Right side Kirk, he'll attack. Beats the man to the rim, scores. No, can't get it to go, but he'll shoot two. That went, the end one would have tied it up, but it rolled off the rim. Foul on Southeastern. And I wait, wait, wait to find out who. Kirk will be at the free throw line. That will go against Rig. That'll be his second. Kirk can cut it within one if he can make it. First one goes in and out. He had made three in a row. And now Southeastern going to call the timeout to try to freeze him. 29.4 seconds left, 48-45, the advantage for the Suns. Back after this. In the charming town of Pittsfield, Illinois, awaits a dining experience sure to impress. Nucci's Restaurant, specializing in Italian cuisine, succulent steaks, seafood, pasta, burgers, sandwiches, and scrumptious desserts all made to order. Mouth-watering and high-quality dishes at affordable prices. Nucci's is the perfect setting for a dinner date or a family meal. It's more than dining, it's an experience. Check out Facebook for live entertainment. Once you experience Nucci's, it will become a favorite destination. 29.4 seconds left, 48-45, Southeastern with the lead over Grigsville Perry, who led most of the game. By 11 at one point, correct? Two lead changes to the game. We were tied at 2-43, and 43, so it's been a 5-2 run for Southeastern since we we're knotted up at 43. And Southeastern had lots of chances to do it, but didn't get uh, that to happen very often. What? 
It's hard to read. I don't know. I can't see my back of my shirt. Well, a mirror you could. No, it'd be backwards. I couldn't read it. <laughs> plus, plus, I can't read. Plus, it's probably in red. And no, it's blue. Black and all those things. So, Kirk to the free throw line. He'll get one. He can cut it to two. Important free throw right here. 29.4 seconds left. Double bonus for Southeastern on the next foul, too. That's important. They're 11 of 15 from the free throw line. Kirk's second one he is in and out. No good again. Stevens secures the rebound. 25 seconds left. Avery Bradshaw will foul him and foul out. Bradshaw fouls out. About 75 foot away. Double bonus. Stevens is the man he fouls. That's not the guy you want to foul. They'll put Myers into the game. And Miller? Kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Three-point shooters. So they'll replace Freeman as well as Bradshaw, who then fouled out. And uh, the referee said we, we brought, yeah, we brought two guys in. Let's I'm going to take shoot. this guy it, off. It doesn't make any difference, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They, they want to do it like the book says, but it really doesn't make any difference. It doesn't matter. He fouled out. Yeah. Jackson Freeman was already in the game. So he can come out of the game. It's all, it's all going to be just semantics. Yeah. I mean, he's going to come in two seconds from now. What makes the difference? Danny Stevens will shoot the two shot foul, 48 45. He can make it a two possession game with either one of these. 25.1 seconds left, and he makes the first. Hey, watch this. Michael Myers is going to check into the game now for Jackson Freeman. Gosh, oh. I'm glad we waited for that. Hard to believe, isn't it? Stevens has made two, four, six, eight in a row now, and has made uh, 10 out of 12. Second one up, also good. 50-45, Suns up five with 25 seconds left. Inbounds pass comes in to Koonsman. Stevens knocks it away from behind. Koonsman secures it to Myers in the corner. Three, no good. Rebound, Stevens again. He wraps it up, and he's got hands all over him, and he'll shoot two more free throws with 15.1 seconds left. Lothridge going to pick up the foul. That'll be his third, and a double bonus again. And How many rebounds now for Stevens with that one? I have him with... Uh, Four offensive and seven defensive. So 11? Yep. Pretty good day. Plus he's made 10 free throws in a row. 12 out of 14. Has 20 points. Kind of a quiet 20 up till now. Isn't it a two-shot foul? They just let... Yep. No, Kirk fouled out. That's yep. why. Kirk okay. fouled out of the game. I thought it was Lothridge, but it was not. First one up by Stevens is good. Southeastern's going to get their second win of the season, and GP's going to get their first loss. How many uh, free throws in a row has he made now? 11. If you want to sponsor him in a free throw uh, marathon, you'll spend a lot of money. He's made another. He's got 22. 52-45 with 13 seconds left. Freeman into the front court, finds Koonsman. He'll try the drive. Goes up with a fadeaway shot. It's good. And a timeout for Garrett White with 6.6 .6 seconds left. In a five-point game. We'll pause as well. Sun's up five with 6.6 .6 seconds left. Back after this. Wish you had extra cash for a vacation, a boat, a new car, projects around the house. Free up more cash for the things you want by taking advantage of low interest rates. Refinance your home with Great Rivers Bank and keep more of your money by lowering your monthly payment. Start the process online at greatriversbank.bank and work with one of our experienced loan officers to get the lowest rate possible. Great Rivers Bank, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. <coughs> Stevens, we were just counting, has got five buckets on the night. Uh, 11, 12 free throws in a row, I think now. 52-47, five point game with 6.6 .6 seconds left. GP's got one more timeout, so they'd need to steal in a three. A timeout and a steal and a two. Stevens Inbounds gets pass to six. Stevens. Yep, he'll be fouled by Lothridge with 4.1 seconds left. And he'll go back to the free throw line. Southeastern will shoot uh, their 20th and 21st free throw now. 12 in a row for Danny Stevens. He's just a sophomore too, by the way, if you don't know. He'll be around for a while. 4.1 seconds left. First one up by Stevens is good. 23 points on the night unofficially. It's made five buckets and a whole ton of free throws. Second one is up and good. 54-47. Koonsman will take it quickly toward the front court. He'll drive in. They'll let him shoot the layup. It is going to count. 
And that'll uh, mess with the books in Vegas, but not with the final. 54-49, the win for Southeastern over Greggsville Perry. They moved to 2-1 and one on the season to the Suns. The Tornadoes dropped to 5-1, and one, suffering defeat for the first time on the year. We take you to the post-game show. It's presented by Illini Community Hospital. Final stats and analysis your way after this. You can plan for most things in your life, but being sick isn't one of them. That's why Illini Express has expanded hours so your family can get the care you require. Open 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Illini Express can see patients 18 months and older, no appointment necessary. When you can't wait to feel better, Illini Express is here for you. Located on the square in Pittsfield. Learn more at IlliniHospital.org. Cole Best Systems Builders for all your insulation needs. We are a full service insulation contractor offering both open and closed cell spray foam, blown cellulose, and fiberglass installation. Best Systems has two BPI certified professionals ready to inspect your home or business today. You may qualify for incentives through the American Act on Energy program. Call Scott or Michael at 217-285-6005 for your free estimate or visit us online at GoBestSystems.com and start saving money on your energy bill today. With all the financial headlines, are you wondering if your retirement savings will last? The market's ups and downs can keep you guessing, especially if you're approaching retirement or considering it. Your Edward Jones financial advisor, Derek Harris, can help. If you have more questions than answers about what's next, you can work together to help ensure you're prepared for your journey. After all, retirement isn't the end of the trek, it's the new beginning. Stop by the office at 1891 Main Street, Quincy. Edward Jones, making sense of investments, member SIPC. Western Illinois Fellowship of Christian Athletes offers support to our coaches, teachers, and athletes. Our mission is to help each grow in a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Western Illinois FCA invites you to go to westernilfca.org to find out more or to join us as a financial partner. Look for some great events coming up in May, banquets in Jacksonville and Quincy, and the Million Dollar Golf Shot too. Western Illinois FCA, working for you. It's the post-game show presented by Illini Community Hospital. Since 1942, Illini Community Hospital has been serving the area with High-quality medical care close to home. Learn more about their services at IlliniHospital.org. A come-from-behind victory for the Southeastern Suns over the Grigsville Perry Tornadoes. 54-49 the final. The Suns trailed by as many as 11 points in the second half. And they come back and secure the victory. 2-1 and one of the season. The Tornadoes taste defeat for the first time on the year to fall to 5-1. and one. It was 15-9 after one quarter, GP, 29-20 at halftime, 36-31 after three quarters, and they end up losing the game 54-49. Tied at two and 43, two lead changes in the day. But really, GP led the game until about the last three and a half minutes or so, and uh, just kind of turnovers is the name of the game. 17 turnovers in the ball game. Southeastern turned it over 12 times. The Suns were 17 to 44, 38.6%, 3 of 13 from the 3, 29%, 17 of 21 from the free throw line, 81%. Grigsville Perry, 21 of 49, 42%, just 1 of 9 from the arc, 11%, 6 of 9 from the free throw line. GP was led on the day by Tate Koonsman, the junior, with 19, 15 for Cash Kirk, 4 of them in the second half. Uh, also on the night, eight points for Ethan Lothridge and three for Aaron Miller and two for Jackson Freeman for their total of 49. Southeastern led on the night, 24 points unofficially for Danny Stevens. He made 14 free throws in a row at the end of the game and only missed two on the night. Uh, so a fantastic job of free throw shooting for Stevens. Nine for Heaton on the night, nine for Fry. And Leesman came in and scored eight points. Two points for Owen Rake from the free throw line where he was two of three as a freshman. And the win comes the way of Southeastern by a 54-49 count. Tell you what, Rick might have had one of the bigger plays of the game, though, Jack. A big steal and a uh, layup at the other end on a really nice move to the basket. And uh, some difference makers for the Southeastern teams. Now, uh, Stevens, obviously, he's the real deal. And he's going to score. But uh, it's the other pieces around him that are making this team much improved. Leesman uh, actually playing with a lot of foul trouble really kind of saved the day for his team with some good offensive and defensive boards in the day and some nice defense. Had a couple of steals 
But the, the name of the game was Greensville Perry didn't take care of the basketball like they normally do. They don't turn it over 17 times very often. Time to name our player of the game. It's presented by Edward Jones Financial Advisor Derek Harris. Financial investments are important, but so are the investments of time, patience, and encouragement our young athletes receive from their coaches, parents, teachers, and mentors. Derek Harris, your Edward Jones Financial Advisor, understands this. That's why Derek Harris is a proud sponsor of the player of the game on Central Illinois Sports. And it's kind of hard to argue with this one. Danny Stevens, the player of the game in this one, Jack. Uh, he just really does it all. He does do so much. He's got 24 points, and I'll tell you, he's fun to watch. But so are Kirk and Koonsman on the other side. But uh, I'll tell you what, when you see Heaton come in there, I thought he shot the three a little bit more than he needed to, but he really came through for his team in the end. Stevens is a sophomore, and the uh, whole area is put on alert because of that. He's going to be fun to watch over the next couple of seasons. That's going to do it from Southeastern. Final in this contest, a 54-49 win for the Suns over the Grigsville Perry Tornadoes. For Jack and John Hull, I'm Charlie Hull thanking you for joining us on another Central Illinois Sports presentation.